The host has unmuted your mic. Hey y'all, it is your favorite cousin on your daddy's side. Seven, um, also known as Drew Friday. Welcome to the after show. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy. I really tried to quit and Andale has said no. Tamika said to me, no girl, you are here. Um, I'm happy to be here with y'all. Um, we're going to recap the episode. I'm going to give you guys my opinion on things. Um, and then I'm going to take some callers and see what the streets have got to say. So with that being said, loving the outfit seven. Thank you so much. Um, um, so with that being said, Tamika, let's start the episode. Let's get on with this recap. That she felt sexually assaulted, and so she's proceeding with what she feels she needs to proceed with. Or see how she was doing. So I told her to meet me down at the Rose. It's Champagne and Bistro. So girl, in this legendary face, oh, you know. the face of it all. So are you feeling after this weekend? You know, I feel good. It's been interesting, you know, Jay look good. coming back. Talk, not, not that I ever left the scene, but I took a southern hiatus um, after a bunch of bullshit that happened. I would say it was, it was less aggressive before we left. I don't know what the hell happened when we left. All I know is you went to mommy mode. I saw you over there. Being a ballroom mother, you are responsible for a lot of things. So with the thing that happened at the ball, my house child, my little sister, if you will, in ballroom, she was inappropriately touched. She was sexually assaulted. She was smacked on her behind without her consent. It got crazy, but it didn't get physical in a way that they laid hands on each other because we didn't allow that. She felt sexually assaulted, and so she's proceeding with what she feels she needs to proceed with. Something that... Okay, we can pause that. Um, working in nightlife and working in clubs, stuff like that happens a lot where people feel like, oh, you're an, you're an entertainer and I can just grab you or grope you or touch you. It happens to me a lot. Like if you guys have ever been to one of my shows, if you've ever been to my sister's room, security is always watching me. Um, I've had people jump on stage. I've had people try to pick me up. I've had people physically like grab my whole entire dairy air and it is not a great feeling um and the one thing i can say that i know about tony tony is a mother figure and tony's gonna always swoop in and protect her people um so like hearing tony say like she stopped it before it can get physical and she made sure that her babies was good that's the one thing that i do appreciate with tony like y'all don't understand like y'all don't get y'all have not y'all haven't seen tony and i really interact um i've known tony before she was on cast tony is sweet a sweetheart like that's mother lush and plush that's mother um we text frequently like she is very much that mother figure and she's going to always make sure that she protects the girls the gays she is going to make sure she is a protector um, and that's one of the things that I love about her. My good, 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 good friend, Jay Keep a Man Amor. Y'all, Jay has so many nicknames. I used to call him Javidicus because of damn Willa. Now I call him Jay Keep a Man, Keep a Man Amor. Because that bitch is going to always have a man. That bitch is a relationship per, a relationship individual. And that's something that we, you know, bond over. Um, because I am very much that type of girl. I am a relationship type of per person. I am a hurtless romantic. So Jay keep a man or more. Jay, that haircut look good. You look daddy-ish, bitch. We not gonna be bumping pussies or bumping purses, girl, but you look good. You look good, friend. Um, so I mean, let's keep it going because I know everybody gonna wanna talk about me inviting the girls and disinviting the girls and then inviting the girls I don't know if again. She was on stage or what? But then I wake up Sunday morning to a text message. We're uninvited. Then that horseback riding. Wait, everybody? So I gagged learning that Stephen had uninvited everybody, including me, because she didn't tell me she uninvited me. At this point, I'm confused. I got invited to the housewarming. I was thrilled to go support my girl. Then I get uninvited to the housewarming. I'm confused. So I took back my gift from Bed Bath & Beyond. And next thing I know, I get another invitation. But at this point, all I know is Bank of America said, pineapples. I was blown. And then dealing with the Triple J Twan, I was already blown. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm putting pineapples on a t-shirt because I'm sick and tired of these girls always taking my word. Words, confuzzled, pineapples. Everybody always take my words and they want to use them. The one thing that y'all can't say is that I don't, that I, um, y'all can't say is that I don't give y'all one-liners, okay? So what happened was, right, 
I don't understand the uninvited situation. Can you explain? Yes. Okay, so what happened was the situation between Troy and I, um, I don't want people to think that I just walked away from Troy because I didn't want to be confronted about the situation. Troy and I had had a conversation. All of this happened a month prior to filming. So basically, he wanted to host the host the meat market, and I didn't think that it was needed. I didn't think, I think I felt like it was a expense that I didn't need to spend money on. Like we, we did not need a host. And when I said to Dominique in a text message, make it make sense, I can see how that came across as sarcasm. However, I wasn't being sarcastic. I was just basically saying, make it make sense to me to spend that money on a mic um, instead of me having a regular bartender coming into MSR to bartend the event, I now have to pay for a manager to come into MSR to work the sound system, connect the mic and do all that because bitch, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I am talent. I get paid to come in there, grab the mic and talk on that bitch, not to set up wires and do all that good shit. I don't know nothing about that. So that was an added expense that was coming out of my pocket for the event. And I could have probably done better at explaining that. However, I have a problem with wanting to not want to explain myself. Um, so I could have probably, I could have explained that better to Dominique as opposed to flipping out. Um, so when the situation happened with Troy and I at the bowling alley, it was like, we had this conversation already. We had this conversation a month ago. I apologize to you on our phone. I apologize to you in a text message. Why a month later am I being added to a call sheet that I was not added, that I was not originally on to come and have this conversation when all of this happened off camera? Why are we now having this conversation on camera? To me, that felt like an ambush. To me, that gave stage. To me, that gave, let me do some reality TV shit. And I didn't like it. It hurt my feelings because I know it may seem to you, to the viewers that I'm not a good friend. However, I am a, I'm, I'm a damn good friend. I am a damn good friend. Yes, I have my faults. Yes, I have my flaws. We all do. However, I am a damn good friend and I am there for my friends and I support them hoes to the death of me. And it was like, I'm sitting there and you're telling me that you had a conversation in Texas with people that you know don't like me and you're saying to my face that I didn't apologize to you when I did. So like, no. So when I left, I quit. I called production, I called on Dario, and I said, the next day, I was like, I'm okay, I don't want to do this, this is not what I want to do. Um, I know mentally, I, I know everybody tells me stop blaming stuff on hormones, however, at that time, it wasn't even a year of me being on hormones, I wasn't even on injections yet. I think the night that that happened with Troy, I had just started injections. I That was on a Thursday, I had my first injection of hormones because I was on oral um, oral meds for um, hormones. I had just had my first dose of liquid injection. So my emotions are very heightened. And with me going on hormones, I cry before anything. I feel a lot and I don't know how to deal with that because Ramir, as a Leo, I don't cry. I don't like emotion. I don't like being vulnerable. I don't, it's just something that I'm working on. And if y'all noticed and if y'all paid attention, I sat there with Troy because I was about to cry. And my dad has always instilled in me, well, at the time I was a boy, boys don't cry. And as a woman, I'm learning to learning that being vulnerable and being emotional is not a bad thing. I was constantly taught that being emotional and being vulnerable is a flaw. And that is not good. And... Uh, I'm trying to get that out of my head. I'm trying to unlearn that. So I quit. And the first thing I said to Andara was, hey, I'm not having, I text him and said, I'm not having it. And he calls me and I said, he said, why are you not having it? I was like, because I'm not doing the show no more. Like, I'm still having it. However, I'm not having the show. So when I quit, he sent everyone a cancellation. And then when I came back, when he said, I'll give you the weekend to think about it. 
I thought about it. My mama don't, didn't raise no quitter. So when I came back, I only invited certain people. And the invites trickled. Because for like three days, I kept adding people. And Tony <laughs> never got a cancellation. I don't know how Tony never got that cancellation. But Tony never got it. And um, everybody just trickled down. It, Tony got one first. Tony and Willa got one first. <laughs> Jay got one. <laughs> Rico got one. Oliver got one. Tonka got one. Dominique got one. And that's where I stopped it at. I was like, no, I don't want all that energy in my house. I don't want all that energy in my house because at first everybody was invited. I got some phone calls. I Jatwan called me and was like, bitch, do I need to show up and fight you? Or are you going to give me an invitation? And I we had a good conversation and it was just like, hey, can you just please respect my boundaries and respect my wishes? And he was like, okay, I respect you. I don't like it. However, I'll respect it. Um, hi, TT. Um, so that's how the whole uninvite and invite situation happened. You can keep playing, Dario. I fuck with my big brother or whatever. I be needing that brother since the time. Other than that, I'm good. Well, you know, if there's anything I can do to help alleviate anything on your plate, you and my friend is enough. Okay. Outside of that, I know that Drew really did piss trial, and I don't know if About I told the about the whole hosting thing oh, okay. and him not being seen and he feel like and i will be honest we all of us told her like girl you was wrong in this situation definitely it said that troy pulled her to the side to talk to her about the situation i guess they end up getting into it and i don't know what it was about i haven't talked to her since then but what bothered me was that she uninvited me to her housewarming she's making excuses for her behavior or yeah. whatever and i'm like ain't nobody finna sit there and be no punching bag for you on yeah. bad days and it seemed like the closer i've gotten to her it seemed like the more reoccurring it happened like so when we originally decided to do the speed dating we really didn't have a host but it was my idea to just ask if troy could host because i felt like as a friend circle we got to just give each other the opportunities seven didn't like that and i feel like she's starting to burn bridges that she really shouldn't because we're supposed to all be friends and giving each other opportunities <laughs> Um, I know about this conversation. Me and my friends, me and my homegirls, my brother and my sister, we have conversations. We tell each other about what's going to happen before it comes, just to warn each other. And I will say I like that we do that. We're not caught off guard on what we see. Um, however, comma, sometimes seeing things is different than us saying it to each other. Um, that is my brother and that is my sister. Um... However, comma, watch and get back. I know it's not really me feeling any type of way. I just know, hmm, how can I put this? I'm a brat and sometimes I don't like the way they say things. However, I will tell them when they're right. Um, me and Willa had a phone, the whole conversation with Dominique saying to me that he wanted Troy to host it, I did not go off. We had a text message. And I was just like, it just doesn't make any sense. And then a couple of hours later, I called Dominique because Dominique and I talk at least five times a day. And Dominique... I felt like Dominique was being passive aggressive. So I asked what was wrong and he brought up that situation. And I felt like I was being chastised and I don't like being chastised. So did I start yelling? Yes, I did. Was I wrong? Yes, I was. Um, did I apologize to him for flipping out and cussing him out, which resulted in him hanging up the phone on me yes i did i apologized to him once we got on the phone and i also sent him a text message it, i will say i am the type of girl i am going to say it to you but then i'm going to follow it up in writing hey i apologize i want to put it in writing because i want you to know that it's sincere um was i wrong for yelling at dominique and how i handled the situation with dominique yes um was i also wrong with 
disinviting Dominique and then inviting Dominique again. Yes, I was because I knew exactly what that would do to Dominique. And when Willa and I talked about that, Willa, like she said, I, she got into my ass about it. And <laughs> I was like, I know I'm doing it to hurt his feelings. I know I am because he hurt mine. I felt like Dominique knew about the whole entire situation with Troy wanting to talk to me about it at the bowling alley because you was in Texas and you let them hoes talk about me and I ain't like it. And when I got the when I got the call to be added to the call sheet to the bowling alley, I called Dominique and was like, hey, why they want to add me to this scene? Who all going to be there? And Dominique told me who was all going to be there and was like, girl, ain't nothing going to happen. Like, ain't nothing going to happen. You with the you with the boys and you with your sister. And I was like, oh, y'all ain't got no problems with nobody. I get there and I sit down on Dominique's lap and Dominique tells me to go talk to my niece. I said to Dominique, bitch, you told me I wasn't walking into no shit. Dominique, we have a sign of when we're mic'd. Dominique made that sign and I said, oh, shit, you mic'd. God damn it. I said, oh, shit, you might. And Dominique said, yeah, you stupid bitch. I am so shocked they did not put that in the show <laughs> because I walked up to Troy, not realizing that Troy was might, and went, what's wrong? What's wrong? What we need to go talk about? And Troy said to me, TT, we'll go talk about it after we finish bowling. I didn't know that that's what he, the fuck he wanted to talk about because I wouldn't have came. I would have stayed my ass at my gig hosting the Barbie premiere for Atlanta. I would have stayed my ass where I was at and we could have had this conversation and chopped this off because, again, all of this happened off camera. So I felt like Dominique at the time was in cahoots and knew. I know now that he did not know any of this. Um, and instead of calling my brother after I left the bowling alley and talking to my brother, I didn't say anything. And Dominique didn't call me. And me and Dominique, Gemini, Leo. Oh, you won't call me? I'm not calling you. So we neither one of us talked to each other for like three and a half weeks. And Dominique and I have talked multiple times a day since the day we met, since I was added to the cast. We have talked every day since we met. Um, and do I feel like I could have been the bigger sister because I am older than all of them? And called Dominique and said, hey, I feel like this is what it was. And asked that question, yes, I could have, but I was being stubborn and I didn't. So every time you plan a gig, Troy gotta be the host. This is an unfair expectation to put on a front. And that's how I feel, especially for you to sit there and say that to then now equate it to, I don't support you when I am the only person on this cast that has ever hired you to host anything. I am the only person on this cast that has ever hired you. So it was like, well, damn, that's fucked up. That's fucked up to put all that weight on me. Um, hey, sweetheart, this is Mother Jasmine. Super proud of you. Thank you so much. Um, so that's, yeah, my sister is going to always give it to me hard and real. We have several two, three o'clock four o'clock in the morning conversations after she, cause she works overnight at a hotel. I go to her job and we sit in the parking lot and we talk after I leave gigs and we talk about things. And we've had a several conversations about this particular incident. Um, and yeah, I just, yeah, keep going Dario. Can we get the fact, wait, what was that Dario? Bring that comment back up. Can we get the fact check about what? Can we get the fact checked on that claim? Oh, I got the text messages. I don't delete shit. And then on which claim? Because yeah, I don't delete shit. On is it the claim of that I'm the only person that hires him? Do you think you are open to have a conversation with Troy to try to resolve? Um I was. Troy and I have seen each other since that happened off camera. We've seen each other, but we have not had a conversation about any of this. Um, I was open to having the conversation now for me, because now the episode has aired and things were said about me online. Um, he's posted stuff about me. The door is closed. Um, 
Because I didn't do that to you. I, I didn't, girl, you're not gonna cry. I didn't do that to you. I didn't go on, I didn't go on Twitter. I didn't go on my stories. I didn't do any of that to you. I didn't do any of that. And sometimes I feel like my friendship does. I do feel like sometimes I am held to a different pedestal than Troy um, within our group. And I said this both to Willa and Troy. I mean, Willa and um, Dominique. I said this to Jay. I feel like sometimes we don't hold Troy's hand to the fire like we do the rest of us. Um, And... uh, when we do try to do that, it gets turned into Troy being a victim. And it's just certain, yeah, I, I can't, yeah, I can't go, I didn't go into comments fighting people and talking to people, to agreeing with people about the situation. I have not commented about it. The videos that were released on the Chasing page, I have not commented under, I haven't like not one post. Because at the end of the day, like I said at my one year anniversary, I love that man. If you can love that man once, you can love that man again. And that is between me and him. And me and him can have a conversation. And now that you have gone on and you're in comments and you're saying certain things, it's like, damn. Well, damn, Sway. So for me right now, I'm okay. And I've had that conversation with both Willa and Dominique because Dominique would really like to get us together to have that conversation. I'm like, I'm okay. I'm not mad at him. My feelings are hurt. Well, my feelings are not hurt. We can probably have a conversation. However, right now, I'm okay. Do you agree that you're um, burning bridges with other cast members? Um, No, because my bridges aren't burned. Like... The people that I want to be friends with, I'm friends with them. Like, I'm friends with Dominique. I'm friends with Willa. I'm friends with Jay. Um, I'm friends with Rico Cassadine. Um, I'm friends with Tonka. Um, I have no problems with Oliver. Um, There's only one I have no problems with. The Cheetah Girls. I have no problems with Wayne. I have no problems with Kendra. Um... Do you like Oliver? Um, I don't dislike Oliver. I think Oliver is cool. I think Oliver is talented. Um, I just don't have a relationship with Oliver like I have with everybody else. Can that happen? I'm open to it. Um, We just don't talk as often as I do with everybody else. You can keep playing, Daria. Slash when you're being one of hormones and ultimately just see where my parents had for that. You know, I just wanted to see like where your mind was, how you felt about things, because like now I got boobs. Yeah, that's um, it, it happened very, very fast. Life came at us hard. Um, I woke up and it was just there. Yeah, that's yeah. I don't want to say strange. It's I don't want to say strange. That's the wrong word to say. But mm-hmm. let's just say different. Do you feel uncomfortable? The first couple of times, yeah, but now I don't. It was it's it was like okay, so like do I get rid of the tattoo? Like did my son die? But how long did you know? No. How long did you know you wanted to transition? What made me really realize it was okay. So you know how we had went to Jersey for the pageant, and they had took my um breastplate. I was really sad that they just took the breastplate. Like I, when I got the breastplate, I felt like they were a part of me. I don't know if I just like seeing Drew Friday, or if I never want to take everything else off. So, yeah, my therapist was like, hey, so we established that it's not your self-esteem. And then I started talking to Willa and Kendra about it. So did I? Y'all, that is my mom. Um, That is my biological mom. That is Lisa. Um, That is Mama Friday. Um, Having that conversation with my mom was, uh, it wasn't hard. Uh, My mother did not want to do the show, (laughs) y'all. My mom is very camera shy. She, yeah, no, mm-mm. She was like, I really got to do this. And I'm like, please, ma. Um, watching this back, I've realized 
how hard it is for a trans parent. Because you have this child, you are nurturing this child, you bring this child to the earth, you teach this child, you know, right from wrong, you watch this kid grow up, and then your child is saying to you, hey, I don't feel like I'm in the right body, or I don't feel like I'm supposed to be this person that I am. Um, Thank you, thank you, thank you. I feel like she did good, too. Um, And, uh, like... I'm realizing how hard it is on my mom. I, I, she lost her son, and then she she lost her mom, and then she lost her son. And I don't talk about my grandmother a lot. However, my grandmother lived with us. Um, I watched my grandmother die. Um, and so did my we we watched my grandmother die. We watched. I watched my grandmother as she had three seizures in our house. Um, And I had to watch my mom go through COVID, grieving her mother and grieving the loss of her mom. And then now she's losing her son. She's always wanted a daughter. So her now having a daughter, I see, um, I see the enjoyment. My mom goes to the mall and like two days ago, we were on FaceTime and my mom was shopping, buying dresses for me. Like, oh, I think I saw this and I thought this was cute. You like this? Um, so it's, we never really see how rough and how hard it is on a parent. Granted, my mom is LGBT, is a part of the LGBT community. Um, this, my stepmom is the only woman and the first woman that she's ever been with. Um, so it is rough. So I've, I've always given my mom grace because I think that she's handling it beautifully. Um, I think that once I did start transitioning, she said this to me once. Uh, she said this to me a couple of months ago. She said that I'm so much lighter. I am like my aura is so much lighter and I'm not as heavy. And if y'all think that I snapped now, like it was worse. Um the mom did better than Lauren's dad. Now, that was a mess. I don't know what happened with Lauren's dad, and I'm not going to speak on that situation. I think that Lauren is amazing. Um, and we just got to give people, we got to give parents grace. They come, our parents come from a different time. Um, and it's never that they don't approve. They just don't have the knowledge. They were not, gr- they grew up in different times than what we grew up in. So it really just takes us giving them that knowledge and walking them through that. They're never just, I feel like people are just never just like, I don't accept it. It's that they don't have the education to to understand it. Um, the scene with your mom touched me deeply. Parents have to say goodbye to the child they have raised and or given birth to and ask to embrace someone new seamlessly it's a challenge it is and we i will say us as lgbtq youth we go to our families oh you need to be accepting and you need to start doing this now no give them grace and get and help teach them help teach them and show them who you are as opposed to just laying that on them and saying if you don't accept it and you don't want it now it comes to a, point, to a point to where if they're being disrespectful, then yeah, you gotta, huh. Um, I'm so thankful and fortunate to have my mom's side of the family that is just so welcoming and open to learning. I am very appreciative of that and thankful for my moms. For all you hoes that was in them comments talking about my moms, my family is crazy. They are from Patterson. My mother went to Patterson, New Jersey. My mother went to the high school that Lean On Me was based off of. Fair East Side. My family is nuts. They were all sitting in our group chat ready to brawl. Um, please, please just give them give them grace. They they come to everything. Um, they embrace it. I think that my moms did amazing. Both my mom and my stepmom did amazing in that scene. They're doing amazing with getting to getting to know Seven and actively being in my life. I'm grateful for them. I'm grateful for my aunts. I'm grateful for my cousins. I'm grateful for my godkids. I'm just grateful to have a family 
that is there and present and willing to understand and getting to know me. You keep going, Daria. Oh, I had to block you yesterday. Uh -huh. Like, what's going on with you? I feel like you're switching up on me. I told you verbatim. <laughs> I said, the man told me he don't want no fuck shit at this event. And I said, okay, well, I'm coming. You never seen me act up or cut up at any of this. What did you see me cut up at? It's not, well, it can't give them. Exactly. But Wait, you didn't want me, you did the same shit last year. You went to a whole HIV that came to me. Now, truth be told, you got some goddamn nerves, Rico. How the fuck you gonna play me for Dominique? Don't you ever disrespect me on no level. I don't like that. How the fuck the TV, TTV know that all the information that we talked about? I can tell you right now, it's not staged. I have on good authority. I can't reveal my sources, darling. I can't reveal my sources. After this happened, Weighing the pain, he called somebody else besides the cops. But apparently he was bawling. I mean, just, just like, like he was in tears. I did, I was... Baby, I was sitting back with my popcorn, baby. I was sitting back with my popcorn. When Wayne said that, when have I ever cut up at somebody event? I looked and I said, when have you cut up at somebody event in somebody house? Baby, that was the first person I said on that list. Do not send them that call sheet. Do not invite them. <laughs> Baby. I, you know what? I'm going to mind my business because whenever I say something, I get shunned like Monica off of Salt Lake, okay? <laughs> Jesus told me in a dream. G I and you know what, TTB? You know what? You know what? You ain't no better in this situation either, okay? I, mm, I'm a mind my business because y'all are constantly telling me to mind my business and leave everybody else's business alone and i'm gonna be a good woman of god and y'all see my titties don't they look good this is not a boob job this is all hormones this is crazy <laughs> that's what i'm gonna say about this thing i'm gonna i'm gonna say tt you should have yelled pineapples you should have yelled pineapples as soon as that man walked in that building you should have went pineapples TB only been in the room one time when you was faking. You're the reason why you're uninvited. You wanted to go fight somebody and you think you're gonna bring that shit to my performance? You got me fucked up. I didn't tell nobody nothing about what happened between you and Kendra. Now, did they call me and ask me was the shit you real? Said you told yeah. Nicole. I told Nicole that it was real because everybody kept saying that y'all was trying to pull a stunt. I'm trying to protect oh, you. Paul, by that. If anybody else comes here right. about you, no. Nicole needs production credit <laughs> because Nicole has been a silent producer this whole year. Like, how are you producing from LA? Like, Nicole Ray Media. She is sleeping on, she is sleeping because I'm not gonna hold y'all. I'm gonna give y'all some tea. The shit between me and Willa got deep got deeper than what it was because also because of Nicole. She be around here producing, she be around here, she be around here and you know, <laughs> I'm not mad at you. Get in where you fit in girl, get in where you fit in. I will say it myself, that was bullshit. Cause I'm that, you are that girl sister. <laughs> you are that girl. Y'all I don't have no problems with Nicole, me and Nicole cool. Like I don't want y'all to think that me saying that is a problem. That me and Nicole got a problem, we don't. Me and her be hitting each other up. When she in Atlanta, we link. When I'm in LA, we link. Oh, we good. However, comma, Nicole Ray Media. Bitch, she need a, she need a producer credit. She need a producer credit. She need a production credit because they be. She Phaedra. She Phaedra. She be, she be there. She be there. Cause like, how she know about this? How she be knowing? It just, I just be, sister, how you be knowing about the shit? Because <laughs> it be like, well, damn. How you find that out? How? 
she be writing. She got a notebook like um my T T um like my T T Castanon. She got a notebook. Yes, spill the tea, sis. We're here for all. It just be it. I just be like, well, damn. And then when I be finding out shit, I be hearing that Nicole knew knew already, and I be like, well, that's crazy. Keep going, Andale. <laughs> Making my way downtown, walking past, pace is fast, and I'm homebound. Baby, I walked to Pima Park, and I just saw the love of my life. So today, I'm, I'm in Big Daddy K mode, for sure, and trying to teach you niggas how you get your nigga, and how you swoo your nigga, and how you cater to your dude. I done laid everything out. I got the flowers, the food, the snacks, the champagne. The niggas don't be getting inside the cane, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a hit it and quit it type of dude, and I'm gone by my day. It's a big step for me, and uh, I just hope you can appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I definitely wanted to get you alone, away from the people. You know, because we are dating, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Okay, yeah. so, you know, I put on my Big Daddy Kane shit, <laughs> big, big, big poppy shit. To see a picnic, I never done anything romantic like this. And, and you did your big one, though, Shay. You really, you know, did your big one. Um, I know you're having surgery, so I just kind of wanted to talk about that. Like, So, this has uh, been a surgeon trying to make it happen over the years because as I found to love myself and love my body, I had to develop multiple health issues and I had fell into a deep depression last year. Uh, mm -hmm. For me, me personally, mm -hmm. I want the best for me. Also too, when my partner, I want the best for my partner. I don't want my Him partner- to worry about that. Yes. So how small are you trying to get now? Cause <laughs> you know, I like a big old black ass. <laughs> okay, I knew about this scene Again, it was the day before my housewarming and Tonka and I talked about this. And I said to her, I was like, I think that this is the cutest thing ever. Like, I am all for love. I like for people to be in love. I am a hopeless romantic. So just like now actually being able to see and watch that scene back, I'm happy for them. I'm happy to see Kane. In, I'm happy to see Kane in a different light. I'm happy to see Kane in a as a lover, not a fighter. I like the candy cane that's a lover that's not a fighter. Because that y'all can see that he is really sweet and he means well. I've said this before, I think he means well. Messy, however, comma, he means well. Like he, 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 he this, there's a different side of him where you see that he's really sweet and he's lovey-dovey. I'm happy for anybody that finds love. And I'm happy that my good girlfriend, Tonka Nail, Tonka Nisha, it's finding love. I can't stand her. I don't like her. I want to fight that bitch. I want to run hands on that hoe. I'm joking, y'all. Please don't. Please, please don't go to Tonka and be like, Seven says she want to fight you. That is just a bit that me and Tonka have. I, that scene warms my heart. That scene really warms my heart, especially for y'all to get to see Kane in a different light because we've seen Kane do nothing but argue, yell, and hoop and holler. So seeing him in that light, um, it, it was really nice. Like, even the conversation that him and I had, I saw him in a different light. Him and I have talked on the phone. Him and I have FaceTime. We've texted each other. And seeing him in a different light, I, I like it. I like that side of... I like that side of Kane. I really do. And I'm, I'm really happy for them. I wish them success in their relationship. Um, I'm going to stop talking about that relationship because I know some shit. I talked to Tonka regularly so it, I, i'm gonna stop before tonka yell at me and say that i spilled some more beans you know dario you can keep the videos going what's the name I'm I'm he gets a movie. lot of me cussing out she gets a lot of me <laughs> see, <laughs> see 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 oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So I have decided. Okay, hold on. Pause that. Pause, pause that. Pause that, Dario. Pause that, Dario. What y'all missed was me actually taking accountability for not for disinviting um, Dominique and then re-inviting Dominique. I took accountability and I said that I was wrong in front of everybody. And I also said that Dominique and Willa get a lot of my riled upness and get a lot of my 
just cussing out for no fucking reason. They get a lot of the parts about seven that still needs work. Um, those are the two that I'm very, I am extremely vulnerable with. Um, I am very grateful for them. Um, they are extremely vulnerable with me. We all cuss each other out. If you were sitting on, next to us and we was on the phone with each other, you would probably be like, them hoes don't like each other. No, nah, we like that with each other because we love each other. So I was actively taking responsibility for my actions. Um, for the people that say that I don't, I do. Um, um, so yeah, that's what was going on. Uh, and I screamed seeing Jabiticus because Jay had called me earlier that day because she was fucking sick and I told her don't bring her ass to my house because you're sick. Stay the fuck at home. And that bitch showed up anyway. Talking about she ain't got my gift. Bitch, you, she dropped it off the next day. You can keep going in there. And it's premium. There's a lot of stuff that y'all don't know yet, but best believe my intuition ain't never wrong. Breathe, and it's never to me though. Like it's never around me, and to me it's always I'm hearing. You know, I was supposedly like, I guess in his mind he felt like he felt like me and him had an issue in some type of way. All of y'all were like following whatever issue I have with him. Also, that we are all just. Doing what you say. Yes. Oh, I've never told. We talk on the phone. We don't talk at all. And I told Jay Twan, I said I get nervous sometimes when I'm around you because you act like the principal. Like you finna put our ass in detention or something. He did mention that. Okay. Um, in Oliver's defense, Oliver has never told us not to like that man. Um, not to let me not say that because that sounds shady. I'm so sorry. Um, Oliver has never said to us not to like Jay Twan, not to talk to Jay Twan, not to invite Jay Twan to events. Um, at that present moment, we all just didn't know Jay Twan. Um, I did have a conversation, like I said to y'all, Jay Twan did call me when he realized that he was disinvited and said to me, hey, I'm either going to show up and we're going to fight or you're going to give me an invitation. I didn't take that as him being shady. I took that as him being, I, I took that as him joking. And we had that conversation of, nah, I know that Drew, I lie, I'm, um, uh, Drew, I lie, I ain't bring shit. Child. You know what, Jay? I was gonna say something. I was gonna say something, but I'm gonna leave that for another time in another place. You ain't shit, bitch. And you get you told me to give you the code. This is your code. Um I I Oliver has never told us not to like him or have a problem with him. Um it was just different things that we were seeing, like and I will say the reason why when he said to me that he wanted to come come i said to him i was like i literally only invited people that had already met my met my parents um i didn't trust anybody <laughs> in that moment uh that did not know my parents and know not to act a fool around my family um and i said that to jay twan i was like i'm only inviting people that haven't met my family um so I, yeah i don't know where jay twan got that from or where he got those feelings of that we just did not want him around um do you like both members of we were born um yeah i just don't really know berlin i don't know them both of them as well as i know of course dominique willa troy jay rico i don't I, I don't talk to them as often as i talk to those people as i well as as much as i talk to them um, I like them both. Um, I call, when I be calling them the Cheetah Girls, it is not shade, y'all. I like the Cheetah Girls. Everybody gets a nickname if I like you. I like the Cheetah Girls. Galleria Garibaldi and Chanel Chuchi. I like the both of them. I don't have no problems with them. Um, some stuff did happen. Y'all just have to keep watching. Um, however, other than that stuff, I don't have a problem with them. Um, even now, I don't have a problem with them. Um, I think they're cool from what I know up of them and about them. Um, I'm open to getting to know them, know them, getting to know them better. Um, but yeah, Oliver has never said, oh, don't like them. We just really didn't hang out with them. Um, 
Shut up, TT. Because <laughs> you know I'm going to get in trouble. It just be me. I am the Monica of the, situ- of the, of the season. Like, I just be getting in trouble. And it just be like, I don't be knowing that. I just, I don't know how. I, I, it, I be just getting told that I be shady in my facial expressions. Um, the Cheetah Girls is funny as fuck. It's funny! Because we are sisters. We stand together. We make up one big family, though we don't look the same. Our spots are different. What? Different colors. And they always got on cheetah print. I didn't think that that was a dig. Um, but yeah, Oliver has never told us not to like them. Um, I think that they, I think that just, just Juan just kind of put that in his head. Um, and I, I, I don't know how. Um, now. I don't want to get in trouble, but all I'm going to say is, I don't know if anybody caught it, but I'm going to just tell y'all to go <laughs> and re-watch the first 25 seconds of the show all over again, <laughs> because my catty ass caught it. Keep going in, Dale. Seven, out of respect, do you prefer Drew or Seven when you're out of drag? I see people calling you Drew when you're not in drag. I prefer Seven out of drag, um, Drew when I'm in drag, because just like out of drag, I had a, I, I had a name, Ramir, my dad name. So um, I would rather Seven. Um, and some people have asked me where I got Seven from. Um, when I started my transition, I had three names picked out. I had Giada. Um, Brianna, and uh, that was it. It was just those two names. And then I was talking to my drag son um, about names, and I told him that my uncle said Giada is an Italian name, and bitch, you are not Italian. <laughs> I have family that is. Um, and then it's just too close to my little cousin's name, Gianna. Um, and he was like, Brianna, Brianna, Bri Bri. I like Bri Bri. Um, but talking to my drag son, I realized that I had started hormones on 7-7, and I found out that I was HIV positive on 7-17-17. And if you look up angel numbers for 7-7-7, it means new life, you're walking into your purpose, um, great things are going to happen for you in the, in this new walk of life, and that you're evolving. And, um, my son goes... Ma, seven. And I was like, I, you know, I kind of like that. And I just kept writing Brianna in seven. And I just kept gravitating towards seven. Every time I write it, I smile. Every time I write my name, I smile. Every time I hear my name, I smile. Every time I say my name, I smile. Um, And seven again the angel number seven 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 and that meaning behind the angel numbers i was like wow my the crazy thing is again seven seventeen seventeen hiv positive you think that that is supposed to be your you think your life is over and it's not um it is not a death wish um i am completely healthy um i am undetectable um starting hormones on seven seven it was like wow that's crazy um and then again sevens reappeared in my life my my apartment number the last number is seven um and when i tell y'all i was so nervous to move out move on my own because my best friend was my roommate we had been roommates for two and a half three years um and i was just nervous and once i realized that once i saw the seven at the end of my apartment number i was like well, bitch, sevens just keep reappearing. They just keep coming. So, yeah, what was that comment that Nicole said? Dario, can you bring that back up, please? Um, Nicole said something. Um, Savvy, according to her spokesperson, my wigs are trash. Um, so, unfortunately, I won't be sending anything her way. Um, you are the company you keep. Who said that your wigs is trash? That's crazy. I, I I've touched your hair before. It, it don't get stiff. It moves. That's nuts. 
Um, that's just a hater child that probably live on section eight, sleeping on an air mattress. Um, don't listen to them, girl. Dario, keep rolling the footage. It's like really wild that I've been on the juice for a year. It's really wild that I am, they say drag queens are broke. Okay. And I moved into my own apartment. I really do appreciate each and every person that is in this room because I've had talks and conversations with each and every person in this room um, about transitioning. I am so grateful and I am so thankful to have a family that supports everything, that comes to everything, that that fights and be, will be ready to throw bowls if anybody does anything to me, says anything wrong, because I have friends that don't have that. Like, I really do appreciate y'all. And that's why I really share my family with y'all. This house is love. Willa asked me a couple of weeks ago what kind of woman I wanted to be. And I want to be like my mom. I want to be like my aunt. Yes. I want to be like my grandmother. Yes. I want to be like my sisters. So I appreciate y'all. I'm done. Y'all can go eat. Yes. Um. Um. When I did my confessionals with Dario, I told him to save this for last because I just didn't know if I was gonna be able to make it through that scene and watching that. I don't like crying. Um, I don't like, I'm, I'm not big at showing emotion. Um, and that was real, that was real emotion. Like I, yeah, um, I am really grateful for my family. Like I am really grateful for my family. If y'all notice my goddaughter Jalen with the puff. Her and I were matching. We had on matching our shirt and our skirt match. She just had on the, her shirt was black and my shirt was red, but we had on the same shirt. We had on the same skirt. She, I walked in the house and I saw her and I went in my room and I changed into the same exact outfit that she had on. Um, Jalen, Jalen, gang gang. Um, like, and she, she like, I know that there are people out there that don't have a supportive family and come from a supportive background like I do. And I am extremely grateful for my family um, and my friends. Everybody that was in that room, I've known for years. Some of them I work with, they're my, not only my trans sisters, but they're my drag sisters. Um, it's a blessing that you have that type of family segment. Thank you. Thank you. It, it truly is. And I'm truly grateful. Um, as much as I wish that my dad's side of the family were, was more accepting and more involved. I am grateful for my little cousin who's gay. I'm grateful for my little brother who, when I told him, said to me, oh, so you're going to be on your Nikita Dragon shit. And I was like, Bryce, what do you know about Nikita Dragon? And he was like, TikTok. Um, so the family that I do have on my dad's side, which is just the two of them, for them to call me by my pronouns, to call me by my name, for my mom's side of the family, my mom, my aunt, I'm at my aunt's house in Jersey now, like for them to just be so embracing and loving and just always supporting me you got a crisis, it helps. You have to embrace all sides of emotion. Don't just be out here saying pineapples because you're about to go off. And I don't be wanting to go off no more, sister. And I'm trying to do better with getting what my dad taught me about crying out of my head. Therapy is working. Um, Will and Dominique has seen that. I feel like JC has seen that a lot. Um, like... I'm working on it. I'm a work in progress and I am actively every day doing better. Um, I'm grateful. I'm very grateful. I'm grateful. I'm thankful. Because there are people out here that don't have that. Like, and like I tell my friends, my castmates, 
if you need a family and if y'all need a family, I will happen, happily and willingly share my family with y'all. Hence why I kept yelling at my mom and telling her, no, please do it. Because there are people out here that need moms like you. My stepmom, from the time we met her, I'm the reason why my mom and my stepmom are together. From the time I met my stepmom, like, I call Kiki Moniki my die or ride. She is going to take a bullet first and then ride out. Like, my stepmom is going to be the person that I do my father-daughter dance with at my wedding. Like, I have my stepmom's last name. Like, I am grateful. Okay, Daria, what's next? In the future, you will do better. Oh, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we get to this thing, I honestly don't even want to talk about that. That ain't got nothing to do with me. That ain't none of my business. Um, Y'all will see my opinion in coming episodes with Wayne and Kendra. Don't want to talk about none of that. Um, Let's talk about me crying about Dominique. What y'all did not see was me talking about Dominique. Um, That whole entire time, I really... Every time the door opened, I was hoping that my brother was coming. What y'all did not see with the conversation between Dominique and Willa was that Willa did tell Dominique that he needed to come. Willa said to Dominique, I know she sent you the invitation. You need to come. And Dominique said to Willa that he was coming. Willa was not supposed to tell me that Dominique was coming. However, my sister told me anyway. And I'm happy that she told me. And my best friend tells me all the time not to relish on the people that did not come. Be happy for the people that did come. And I'm very happy for the people and my friends and my family that that came. However, comma, the one person that I really wanted to be there was my brother. The one person that I just kept looking for when the door was op- would open was my brother. I want to publicly publicly say to Dominique that I know that I am a handful and that I you attack the people that you're the closest to and that sometimes I could be a bit much and that sometimes I yell at you and it is not warranted. However, y'all don't understand how much I love that man. And how appreciative throughout this whole year and a half I am to Dominique. That time where me and I'm not going to say that I wasn't talking to Willa and Willa was not talking to me. I wasn't talking to nobody. Dominique would just show up at my house because I was so depressed. And I know everybody keeps telling me not to blame it on my hormones. But what y'all don't realize is... This shit is not easy. Your body naturally produces testosterone. And I am telling my body not to produce it. So a lot of times I am sick. There are a lot of times that I'm at shows throwing up before I get on stage. And I'm constantly saying to myself, if Katy Perry can go on stage and her dad just died, I can get on stage and I'm sick and I don't feel good. Dominique is showing up at my house if I'm not answering the phone. Dominique is Dominique is making sure that I'm good. Dominique is always there. And the one person I just really wanted was my brother. I wanted to hug my brother. Y'all, Dominique did not come to my house for like three months. I mean, now he comes. He has a key to my apartment. Um... I know I'm a work in progress and I'm working and I just, I just really wanted Dominique. I just really wanted Dominique. I'm grateful for my friends that showed up. I just really wanted Dominique. I just really like, in that day, I just really wanted to hug Dominique. Hi, TT. Hey, girl, I'm sitting here reading the comments of these sad, lonely people that sit here and think they can judge us for putting our lives 
out here in the open and they couldn't do it because their lives are boring and miserable. So they sit up on the finger thump, they pussy hoes because they ain't got nothing going in their life, but they think they got the uh, mitigated gods to keep us for putting our natural lives on this on this natural platform that we want don't get paid for. So y'all sitting here judging, judge, judging us for free. So for that, y'all can suck a dick backwards. But um a sick one. I ain't want to go there, but you can say that. But I'm just, I'm just, I'm grateful to see this side of you because you have gotten a lot of flack this season. People just did not want to understand you. People try their best not to discredit you. And I know I'm one of them people that said, I'm sick of the hormone excuse, but you are right. Hormones are not easy, especially because it's a, it's balancing an in. It's doing something that your body naturally doesn't do. So people that don't take hormones don't know what it does to your natural body. It changes your complete, you're changing your whole physiology. I don't think they understand. That's a big step. That's, bitch, nine times out of ten, bitch, you could be mental one day and then be fine the next. People don't understand what it really does to your body. And I, like, you know, I be around here, like, and I try my my hardest and my best not to look at the comments. And it just be like, people just be really like dogging me. And it just be like, well, damn. Well, damn. I don't think people understand what we mentally go through with this. Like this, this process is not easy for us to show our lives. And then to have people that don't know anything about us, but watch 30 seconds of what's going on of a, probably a five hour film to make judgments based off of what you think you saw. And I don't think they know how that mentally affects us, especially someone like you who's going through a metal a mental change. It was like, I was watching a review and it was just like, I know I'm not trans and I know I have no experience in it, but she can't continue to sit here and say that. And it was like, y'all don't realize that we started filming and I was like four months on hormones and every three months my doctor was up in my estrogen levels, upping how much estrogen was going into my body. And it was like a lot of the times where I, I was just not showing up to things. It was because yes, I was working, but I was also just like sick a lot. Yeah. But I, I'm not, I want people to understand that. Yeah. Y'all are sitting here. Yeah. We're on a platform where you can give your opinion. But y'all don't give opinions. Y'all try to be hurtful and funny. And it's not funny. Like, it's not funny. Just because we put ourselves out there don't mean you have the right to try to hurt us with words. An opinion is cool. But some of y'all are just downright nasty in these comments. Because you're miserable and you hate your lives and you wish that you could do what we're doing. So you think you can tear somebody down. We do this because we, we know that there's people out there that's living the same path and living the life that we live. And we do this to tell our story so we can show that there, there is another side to everything. Each one of us this year, every time we do this, we're going through something. We're humans. So to sit here and try to tear us down negatively because you think you have the right to give your opinion, that's not right. Because just because we put ourselves on this platform does not mean that it does not hurt us. It shouldn't. We shouldn't care what you say, but we're human. And I think people forget that part about us when it comes to um, this show. Hi, sister. I think people forget that we're humans when they're watching this show. We're not housewives. We see what you say. I mean, we just like the housewives, they see it too. They see it too. And I don't think that, I, I do think that they feel it as well. And just like I gave Dominique his props, I want to give Willa her props. My sister is so hard on me. And sometimes, I, not sometimes, all the time, I complain about it. However, she always says to me, I need to make sure that you're strong enough to walk this walk because this is a lonely walk. Nobody's it, going to understand it and nobody's going to ever get it. And I need to make sure that you as a woman are strong. So I'm going to always be hard on you. And I'm, I am grateful for her for always being hard on me. Sometimes I want her, a lot of the time, I want her to woo 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 on me. And she'd be like, no, bitch. I need to make sure you're strong enough to do this. Hi. Hi. How are you, Miss Seven? I'm good. How are you? What's your name? Where you calling it from? I'm Christina and I'm from Alabama. Nice to meet you, Christina. What's your question? 
I do not have a question. I do want to come on here and basically back up what Rico was saying. I feel like it's a privilege when y'all, because a couple years ago I discovered Chasing Atlanta. Truly, Chasing Atlanta is the most lit franchise. It's the most lit branch out of all this whole chasing reality. And it really bothers me. It bothers me when people get on here and just talk crap. Like you guys can't see it. And like you said, there, there's, you know, there's times for opinions, there's times for critiques, and then there's just y'all just being assholes. I'm just going to say it. Like, some people are assholes. I was watching a live. Sorry, my baby. I was watching a oh review. Hey, 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 sugar. She's asleep if you would like to see her. Oh, my, oh, my gosh. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, I had her in November last month. I actually wasn't still in the hospital when I got on the after show with Miss Tony. It was Miss Tony's episode that I, you know, was holding the baby in the hospital bed. But um, I forgot what I lost my train of thought. But oh uh, yeah, I was watching a, a, review, a live review of, of the sh of the episode, and basically, I think we were watching the same one. I'm not a trans woman, and I really can't speak. They, mm, shut up! Shut up! Sh mm -mm, shut up! I wanted to scream. I wanted to be able to jump through the phone and shake that person. Shut up! I hate when people do that. I hate when people do that. It to me, it feels akin to when black people are trying to describe or explain our our experience in america and people telling us oh it's not like that oh you should still be able to do this you should still be able to do that and i feel like that's i was born with the uterus miss ma'am i don't know what you're going through but i i do understand like the ups and downs of hormones like i said i just had a baby i have four kids when i had when i was pregnant the first time I, hormones i've never experienced i remember my sister threw a baby shower for me i had like a whole 24 cupcake after the baby shower, I was sitting there in my mom's house and I was about to eat one of those leftover cupcakes. I dropped it and I started crying, even though I had 23 more. Crying for no it's fucking your reason. Your, your emotions just tell you to just cry. Mm hmm I do a lot of stuff sometimes that don't make sense. Mm, I just, and sometimes it's the hormones. Like people don't understand. And I, like, I, I feel like when people are telling you specifically that you can't lean on that as, an, as a reason why you were upset or the reason why you've done this, I feel like that's, I wanna say it, but I also don't, cause I'm not, I feel like it's transphobic cause you don't know what she's going through. I'm not gonna sit here and tell, I try to dictate your existence and tell you what you can and cannot do or what you should or should not be doing. Like baby, come on. like. If, because like you said, it's like you're you're telling your body to stop making something that it's always, you know, it started to, it's at that up until that point has always been making, and you're trying to put something else in there, so you know, so you you can you feel ha you can be happy. But I'm gonna stop stuttering and all that stuff, and just wish you okay. 2024 nothing but coins and bags and bills all up in your pocket, um, nothing but smiles and laughter. Very little tears, and yes, I cry when I get angry too. Because if I don't cry when I get angry, I will hit you, and I don't hit with my fist. I've hit somebody in the face with a hammer, and I'm not afraid to again. So, love you, baby. I don't need you hitting nobody with a hammer. I love you too. Thank you for popping on here, and I hope that I do want to say to her, like, girl, I hope that you have a support system because my best friend just had a baby in November. And I've had several friends that had that have had, that have had children, and postpartum is a bitch. So I hope you have a support system to catch you, um, because postpartum is not fun. And if you don't, you can always DM me on Instagram, like, and I got you, boo. Seven is my niece. I always protect my girls. I love you, TT. Like y'all don't understand. I love that woman. I really do. Um. Any other questions? Anybody else want to jump on? Anybody else want to come on through? Mother Jasmine. Mother Jasmine. Hey, guys, boo, sorry for my face and my hair, the whole nine yards. But I had to come on here and say, hey, um, I am super proud of you. Um, the um, scene with your mother really touched me because I was there um, 32 years ago. I'm 52 years old now. So um black don't crack baby hello <laughs> but um yeah thank you um so so from my experience i've kind of like transitioned god 32 years ago when life was so different and we didn't have the resources that we have 
today. So, so really, I want to embrace you. I want to encourage you because you're embarking on this brand, brand new, scary, but exciting journey that I can relate to. Um, and it's going to be difficult at times. But like you, I have a very supportive family. And because I did, it, it allowed me to be the woman that I wanted to be. I had strong Black women um, in my life who not just encouraged me, but they also disciplined me too throughout those years. So I was able, I, I had some bumps in the road, um, but but ultimately I got into healthcare. I'm a nurse, went to college, but I did all that bullshit. I did the partying, sex work and all that stuff. But ultimately, over time, I, you know, got on the right path. So I want to really encourage you um, to embrace you and just to, to hang in there. You what, must have thick what skin. What happened, Mother? What happened, Mother Jasmine? Um, what's the book called? Oh, um, my book is called The Flight of the Beautiful Eye. Um, um, I talk about um, so, so, so I've been sex, sex work for over 30 years. Um, silicone, all that stuff, sexual abuse, how I overcame and how God just brought me through. So um, it's on um, every anywhere you can buy on um, books. Um, Kindle, books, Barnes and Nobles, everywhere. Um, but I want to encourage you, um, um, sweetie, and um, it's a journey. God bless you. I know how it feels to grow your little titties because I was like, first, first you're flat. People really don't understand what it really feels like to be born a male and then over time you chemically change into a female and it's it's truly scary and unique and like they were flat and that kind of titties and you know it, it, all they came out of nowhere i know they all, i woke up one day and they were just here right exciting right Wait that, okay, so that's the pop it. Wait until you start getting a little something, something, something back here. I'm in a, I'm a, I'm a 34. I'm a, I am a C cup. I'm, I'm just now at a C cup. That's big for a year, for only 12 Yeah, months. like, okay, this is no bra. Right. But you do like know, it. Right. But you do know that chemically, right, um, when you take the moans, every girl don't develop the same way because it, it's, it's, it's based on your mother. And how my mom is a developed. my mom's a G cup. How she, she had breasts right. at eleven. See, right, right. So you'll be a fuller girl. Look well, right mm -hmm. now. Oh. I would, that's the one thing that I'm constantly grabbing on. Like my aunt yells at me all the time because I'm always doing this. And she's like, "It just looks like you're fidgeting and you're nervous." I'm like, "No, I'm just excited." Yes, and I wake up every morning and I'm too that they itch. Look, right? They don't know. See, they itch and then they, they be do. so tender, and you be like, "Oh, somebody will hug me," and I'm like, Oof. "Right." Please DM me your book on Instagram, the, the title of your book, so that way I can you. purchase it. Yes, God bless you. Here, be good. Thank you so much. You too. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Y'all, I appreciate all y'all jumping on here and giving me kind words. There, um, and Dale, who else we got? Who else we got, girl? I like stuff like this because I get so much, like, like, um, my TT cast and I said, like, I get a lot of slack, I get a lot of slack. And like, when the season started, like, Jay and Willa had to talk me off of it because I was just like, oh, yeah, I'm not about to watch. I, nope. And like they both continuously tell me like girl stop looking at those comments you know who you are like don't look at that and i get love you sis. i love you so much come on willa jump on jump on willa come on will willamina modules come on and jump on in the room willamina modules if y'all want willamina modules to come on in the room tell her to come on in the room um i'm appreciative of willa i like I, I really am. Like, I love my sister down. I love my sister down. Um, but y'all, like, my breasts really came. They, they came, like, when I said to my mom, life came at us hard. They came at us hard. Like, I got sized in June. I was a 34B. And I went and got sized recently. I am just at a C cup. 
and these puppies are growing. Um, yeah, I, my cousin is a nurse. She gives me my hormone shots. It is a family affair around here. Um, it's wild. It is very, very wild. Um, do we have any other people wanting to jump on? Hello. What up? What it do, Will? Sister. Hey. Hey, girl. What you doing? Calm her. You come with some her? Uh-huh. Okay. So first of all, so first of all, we fighting. Oh Lord. Are we fighting? We <laughs> We are fighting. Why are we fighting? Because she, you ain't had to dig into me like you dug into me, sister. I mean you had already told me you had dug in me, girl. Cause you had dug to me. Y'all, she had dug in me before she met with Dominique. She had dug in me after she met with Dominique. Y'all didn't see she dug it, dug in me at the um at my housewoman too. She dug on me while I was at the gig in the dressing room because <laughs> I wasn't at my house. She dug in me. Y'all, my sister be digging in my ass, and I appreciate her for it. See, that's how you, see, that's how you know. Hold on. Let me let me come over here where I can put you put you up in the thing. See that? Okay. Thank you, baby. You See, that's how you know. No problem. Hold on, girl. Let me get on here looking like Miss Pac-Man. Miss Pac-Man. Miss Pac-Man. First of all, Dominique, what you got to say? Because what you not going to do is sit there in the background because I have your location and I knew you was over there. Yeah. Well, I'm, 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 it's not right because it ain't going to take me long to do it. You don't put me on this motherfucking camera. Uh, okay. Well, let me. Be on that camera. Put that, put that nigga on that camera. Oh, listen, let me tuck my thumb in because. <laughs> Whoa, hold on. Uh -huh, get it together, get it together. This hair is really pretty on you. Thank you, sir. You're oh. welcome, sister. So, I, so, so I, I'm glad you said it that way. I didn't have to say it, but I definitely had already dug into you on the phone. So, you already knew what time it was. I had already knew. I already knew what time it is, and that's the thing. I want people to realize that I do take I take accountability for my my well, wrongs and my actions. I was so proud of you when I said I was so proud of you. Watching you up here, you first of all, you look good as fuck, girl. You look real without a pill, girl. You look fabulous, first and foremost. Thank Thanks. you, sister. Second of all, girl. Well, you know we be talking, honey. I'm just proud of you, period. Anyway. We do have, you know, our talks and stuff, and I do be want to give you a heads up because I don't be wanting my friend to feel slighted or whatever. But I'm glad you said it that I got on your ass before I even sat down with Dominique because you definitely know I got on that ass before I even sat down with Dominique. Because, baby, them people was in them comments talking about she fake, she at that girl house woman. No, I knew my sister said that. <laughs> she told me what she's going to say before she met Dominique. She told me what she said after she met with Dominique. <laughs> she told me before we even sat down at my house woman. Like, <laughs> We talk. Can't pay them people in the comments, no man, because the people in the comments only see, only can go off of what they see, babe, and be so wrong and be so excited to be so wrong. But it's okay because we need, we, you know, we enjoy them. That's I guess a part of it. I guess, honey. I heard, I heard, I heard, did you have to say? You know, we enjoy them. I, I had Cassandra up it, here. I, I had Cassandra up here. I sure did. Now it's always some shit with y'all girls no. down there to oh. Atlanta. Hey. First of all, we knew we owed somebody an ass whooping. We knew we had to jump somebody up in here. What's the problem? See, this is why I respect Nicole because this is not the weakest link over here, boo boo. This is not the weakest. <laughs> before y'all get started, before y'all get started, me and Willie is good. Yes, because what I said was not a slight to her. I, we had just seen the video of Miss Girl going completely crazy on her on TT Damn B. And I said, You ain't gonna, uh uh, you ain't gonna. You're not gonna do that to no, me. I, I thought it was hilarious. Child. I didn't think it was no no shade at all, honey. Like, I was like, I was like, Willa is my girl. Like, this is why I was like, It's fine. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, now, not, now, not Nicole, not your name oh. is now. Why, Minnie? <laughs> I ain't even did nothing. Y'all just needed a little extra assistance, you know. <laughs> you know what 
Nominated. But mind you, I had had a talk with Willa first. Then I had a talk with you. Then she had a talk. She came to. She had a talk with Willa. She had lunch with Willa, and then she came to my brunch and was like, "Y'all need to fix it." Yeah, I, I y'all like, don't, I don't know. Really I cussed, going on, but we got to get this together. I cussed her and um Markel out. I said, "I don't know what the fuck y'all think y'all talking about, but I ain't did shit, and y'all gonna mind y'all motherfucking business." She, right. They, if I love y'all, you catch the slight end of. The hormonal rage and <laughs> nicole sat there and she said okay baby you want to you want some champagne oh, and i girl, said I mean, yes you know, your moment. right i mean just have a tangent and then let's keep it pushing like this is what i this is why i need you to know little sis like have a tangent and then keep it pushing like that's what life is about like this shit is not gonna be easy never it don't matter hormones no hormones honey life is rough Period. can i just simply say something What's to the it? both of you we look good. I do. Fresh face. Yeah. <laughs> Fresh face. No filters. Okay. We <laughs> look good. Right. It is giving. <laughs> it's giving Destiny's Child and I'm Beyonce. Yes, let's go on the road. Let's take this show. Now, now how she become Beyonce? <laughs> you hear me? She's the way my contract is set up, the way I have to have top billing, otherwise I cannot show up. That's crazy, Dominique. Say it to my face. Dominique gonna sit up here and say he wants to see, see us fight. Tell me he wants to see us fight. Mom, why somebody in the comments talking about Nicole? Bring your mama on. We love her. <laughs> Dominique, that's up, Dominique Alley. Where mama at? Over here, child, on the couch. Hey, hey mama. While I'm right here. Period. Hey, mama. She got period. a fake coat or something. Y'all need my skincare routine? Y'all better subscribe. I'm going to tell it to y'all. Subscribe. Hello. S sell it. Subscribe so that way you can get the money for Come it. Follow me. Nicole. Subscribe. I'm going to tell y'all what it is. But what's been going on? Nicole, keep a check, there? Ray. What y'all got going on down there? Is everybody good? I don't want to have to come get the girls together. No, I'm trying to see if we can get these girls back in order so we can at least have a Zoom call reunion. Child, oh, now do you be, really think only, the reunion is just going to be me, and I'm going to tell all about the season. <laughs> oh, that was that okay. Can we? Okay, now y'all know I'm known for being a little catty and oh, a little messy. Hey, ma. Hello. You, you so beautiful. Thank you. You welcome. I, I, that, that's not your mama. That's your sister. It is this my home girl? Look at her. Look at look. Mm. I just I just want the secret. I want to know. <laughs> All in the alcohol. <laughs> my Uber and my cup, that's right there, please, and thank you. I just want to be a little cat and a little messy. Go ahead. Did anyone oh, no, wait, notice? Wait, wait, before you be messy, seven, I think I want to start like at least a Facebook group. We can start off as a Facebook group or something. But I want to start like a support group for like parents that like have trans kids. Because I feel like don't nobody got that going on and they be needing like support and other people that went through the same thing to come no absolutely okay. absolutely I and like i'm like seven like my mama could be everybody's mama like my mama love all the kids honey she be up in the mix ready yeah, up in up in the gig she be up in the I, I agree and that's something that my mom said in the episode she was like she felt like she she think that she should um that somebody re recommended that to her and I yeah. think that I think our parents, our moms would be the perfect because let me tell you, we are all three of us look like our mamas. Yeah. And it's important. It's important to understand that, you know, everybody's path is different. Everybody experiences things different ways. And I think a lot of times the families don't understand how big of a role they play in this. You know what I mean? Like a lot of times girls are out here doing things they don't got no business doing and mm -hmm. carrying on in ways they don't have no business carrying on because they feel like nobody is in their corner or no one is supporting them and when you have a strong foundation at home baby you can go along with whatever the world got going on you know what i mean like as long as very much that is supporting you these kids can say whatever they want to say outside in these streets they can do whatever they want to do and all is going to be well very much that because i will i'll add to that like the stuff that i'm battling with my dad is something that i'm talking about in therapy and it's something that i've talked to will about like the men that i ch my the men that i choose or the men that i have chosen have been a result of me wanting my dad and wanting him more active in my life and now going further I, when i see signs of my dad those are automatic red flags and i'm running away from that um so it's just like like girls sometimes girls are just doing i i feel like i don't know if this is really the case i feel like girls are like me they're doing things to fill that void of their missing father figure 
Which is true a lot of the time, Sunny. Like me and my dad, we don't speak. I mean, we speak Same. ish, but we don't speak. We speak ish, but we don't speak. We speak indirectly. Um, me and my dad, we don't talk at all. Um, I'm not gonna mention. I'm not gonna mention about it because y'all will see more about it in the season. Right, which is important. I mean, and I get it. You know, sometimes these men don't know how to accept. You know, the change as far as it comes to their children. But you know, baby, you can have that conversation with me. Like that's that's where I'm at with it. At my good. 40 years of living, if you have an issue and you're having a problem embracing it, let's talk about it. Because, baby, I'm grown. Like, I don't need nothing from you. We could just be cool. Right. But if you want to be silent, I'm going to be silent, too, baby, because I'm good over here. It's a, the, mother, the daughter daddy dance. I just need you to just, shit, if you, we can rap every now and then, can I call and check on you at least? You know, some shit like that, but not me and my dad talking about Right. He checks on me through my mama child, which is so hilarious to me. Child. Be back. Now I want to make Wait, a little so I want to make it a little hard. Party? No, that bitch did not. And that bitch Ooh, did not come to my house. Dominique. That bitch didn't come. That here. bitch did not. That bitch did not step foot in my house for three months that I lived there. I'm exaggerating. It wasn't three months, but that bitch did not step foot in my house for three months. So Monique is in rare form. I don't know what's wrong with her tonight. She just, <laughs> she want to see everybody fight. She over here talking. She, she had know. a bad day. When we talked earlier, she said she had a bad day at work. She been having a bad couple of weeks at work. So, you know, I've been giving her grace and I've now, been letting her wait, Now, who been, who been cutting up, Dominique? The dogs or the parents? <laughs> the dogs and the parents. And I'm going to say it for her. The dog, the parents, and somebody else. I'm but she should be she should be happy you see, you because gotta be, I'm, you gotta be able to laugh at things you can't you know what i mean like life is short y'all we gotta be able to laugh our way through things and that's why honey i'm about to start <laughs> calling you seven and getting on your head because if i tap into one more episode one more after show one more live and you over here talking about these hormones and your feelings baby i want you to cry in the corner for five seconds and we gotta keep it pushing <laughs> That's just I'm not I'm being honest from one sister to another. Like we have to cry in the corner for because we chose this. It didn't choose us. We we it chose us, but we chose this. So take your ass in the corner and cry for 2.2 seconds. Call Willa, call me, call somebody you care about. But we can't ostracize people who want to be here for us because we're having a moment. You know what I mean? Like it's unfair to them to try to support us in this situation, in this transition. And we take our emotional baggage moments out mm. on them and then be like, oh, sorry, guys. Like, I was just having a bad day because of the hormone. Go, go in the corner and scream. Like, and that's just one big sister to a little sister, like, being real with you. You know what I mean? Like, and I appreciate that because on this end, I'm the big sister. I'm older than both of them. And, like, I said this to Willa before, like, when me and her, I don't want to say a strange. I don't want to say that she wasn't talking to me. I wasn't talking to her. When we, when you know, when we had lost communication. It was that I couldn't be, I had this saying, I, my best friend says, used to say to me all the time, how can you be that nigga for somebody else if you can't be that nigga for yourself? How can I be that bitch for, for my sister if I can't be that bitch for myself? And I, it, I don't want, like, I know that it seems like it was just Chase. It was not just Chase. It was me trying to learn how to deal and... Uh, Learn, I, I was trying to learn how to deal. I was not in a good mental space. And I could have done, I should have done better and communicated that to her as opposed to just being MIA. Absolutely. Because be it left her in the dark. Baby, don't be afraid to cry. It's a human emotion. You see what I'm saying? Like, and that's why I meant what I said in the comments. Like, people can't just see you when you're angry. People can't just. Be, you know what I mean? Pineapple's been running around all season long. Eat your pineapples, baby, because it's going to make you taste good down there. But that's another story and, for another day. <laughs> and but. I'll say that's another reason why I walked away from Troy. I didn't want to be angry with him. It wasn't that I was I was just walking off and saying, fuck everything. I didn't want to yell at him. I didn't. I still don't want to yell at him. I still don't want to be angry with him. I want to be able to <laughs> have a conversation with him and not be like, da -da 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 -da. I don't want to be that person all the time. I don't want to be that person. Right. No, absolutely. You know? So, yeah. Back to me wanting to be messy. Did y'all notice that somebody was missing from the credits? I did notice. I, I, oh, I didn't see it. I missed it. Bitch, that was the first thing I noticed. I got to go back. Y'all know I be Life is truly what you make time. it. Yeah. Life I, is truly what you make it. Oh, you mean of the cast members? 
Uh huh. Oh well, I could already guess who it is then. Life is truly what you make it, and I'm gonna say that because you did your big one. That was T. Then why would you say that? Because now girl, you. Now nah, you right. Now I'm gonna be in it. Shit. Damn it. Yes, she oh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be some nonsense about you later on today. And then let me speak God to my other it. little big brother, Rico. I t I love you down, Rico. You know, we are in a great space right now, honey. I'm gonna call you back in a minute because I seen you call me, but I was getting on here. Stop, stop worrying about what the people are saying. Stop addressing the fans. Cause here's the thing: you have to have good and bad fans. Like, I had to learn this myself without, you know what I mean? Like, if the good fans are 80% of the viewers and the bad fans are 20% of the viewers, baby, we need all our views. Whether y'all love us or hate us, screw these people. They don't pay us. Hershey LaCour Jate. Hershey LaCour Jate, congratulations. Hershey said, see what happens when you talk too much? You are right. I should have kept my mouth shut. First of all, can we give a motherfucking congratulations to Hershey LaCour Jate. She is in New York right now for the premiere of RuPaul's Drag Race season 16. Hershey, My... does that mean you left your man at home by yourself, girl? First of all, you're not going to go over there and try to be a, uh, I gotta a nasty cook him home a little dinner. I got to cook him a little dinner. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. Leave my, leave my you know, sister. You know, me and Hershey is in a throuple, honey. Me and Hershey is in a throuple, honey. Oh, yes, girl. Go get him. See, Hershey said go get him. I got to go get him. You gotta go get them. You gotta go get. Oh, she okay. So she gave you permission. My yeah. sister is in New York. They put her up in a nice hotel. Me and her was texting yesterday, and she was like, "Bitch, I bitch, let me show you this view." And I said, "You have arrived. You yeah. have made it. You have arrived." I can't wait to watch her on this season. Um, I I I I I already. I me, me and my sister talk. Me and my sister auditioned together. Like I knew when she was leaving. I'm so proud of her. I am truly inspired and I aspire. I can't wait for the world to see her and see what she does. Um, like y'all, make sure y'all are tuning in starting this Friday on MTV at 8 p.m. for the world premiere of RuPaul's Drag Race season 16, where our hometown, she started the game off for the drag queens to be on this platform. She was the first. And I am so motherfucking proud of her. Hershey, do the drag queens still not make no money? Huh. Lies you tell. <laughs> Lies you tell. Y'all heard me say, they say drag queens don't make no money and I'm in my own apartment. They say that drag queens don't make no money and you see she on the race. Don't play. You know. But yes, congratulations. But back to what I was saying. Mm -hmm. You know, we got to stop attacking the people for having bad opinions of us. That's totally, baby, let me tell you something. I could do the same hairstyle four times. Will it know the truth? Baby, we could do the same hairstyle. Three people going to think it's amazing. Twelve people going to think it's trash. Who? Hey, guess what? It is what it is. Everything is a matter of perception. So we have to love all the supporters, baby. Long as they watching, we doing something right. You know what I mean? Like, so let's, let's stop getting caught up in who like it, who hate it, who love it, who don't. Just focus on the people that love it. The people that's going to rock with you are going to always rock with you. And the people that are not are just not. And that's okay. That yeah, is 2024 okay. is the Beyonce mindset. All 2024. Yeah, we ain't responding to nothing. Beyonce we, not, we don't, A, get B, what would Beyonce do? If and Beyonce can laugh. stand there, if Beyonce can stand there still as a doorknob while her man getting punched on by her sister because she know better. <laughs> you know yeah. what? You are right. So let me apologize to the Cheetah Girls. I'm so sorry for bringing that up. Uh, not the Cheetah <laughs> Are you talking about your castmates? Yeah, let me let oh, no, me that's apologize. Okay. That's okay. Y'all are on a show. Oh, okay. It's okay. It's okay to have an opinion of them. I'm talking about the fans. We can't, okay, we can't okay. be upset with the fans for having a penis. Okay. Now, other castmates, we can attack the hell out their asses. Okay, okay. I, I'm not attacking, <laughs> them, attacking them. I just felt like I just felt like that was... But that, that, was, was a that was a good depiction. It does give Cheetah Girls vibe. Like, it's always, you know... It exactly hurts you. The people will always be saying something. We gonna be on live tonight. The people... I'm black, so it's fine, honey. It's real peaceful on the blacklist. 
feel like I'm gonna get. I feel like I'm gonna get cussed out, and I'm gonna just take it's the cussing out. Well, I like, like these okay. curls, girl. I'm about to go get me some curls. I'm gonna wash my hair. Uh, ain't they cute? I feel Spanish, honey. I feel Puerto Rican. You look Puerto Rican in that hair. Dominic, meet me. Meet me. I get back tomorrow and I'm coming to your house. The door gonna be locked. Yeah. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? I'm gonna bust the window in the back um, in, the, in that sliding door. Don't play with me. Dominique, don't be doing the people like that. Y'all see, it don't be me. Be nice. It let don't me be me. My, let me book my flight, honey, so I can come have a come to Jesus. It be that. You know, it be that. the most problematic ones that can fix other people's problems, right? Because I'm real problematic, honey, so I know how to, you know, I can admit that. It's fine. <laughs> I'm coming to the viewing party. Oh, you coming Friday? You want me to put you on the list? Please. Okay, I got you. I'm coming. You coming too, sister? Yeah, I get out at three on Friday. Okay, I'll put both y'all on the list. Y'all want to go get dinner before? Who who said I need to? I've been apologized to that girl at the reunion. Kitty, I love all these faces time. together. You might be on to something here. You know, I feel like a little girl strip. Yeah. A little girl. I say we just gotta throw in um throw in um Hershey. Period. Hershey's one of the girls. Hershey's one of the girls. And Tony. Tony can come. And Tony. Tony. I love me some Tony. I love me some Tony. And throw in Tony and we good. We, we are good. Funny. We're gonna cut up. We're going to the strip club. Wait, wow. wait, what Hello, strip club? Bucket. Are we going to see everything? Fuck it. YOLO. I don't like I don't like penises just flying everywhere. I, 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 I like want, a good penis. N- I like penis, but I don't want to go to a male strip club. I might have a lesbian like. moment with Willa. I don't really know, you know. <laughs> no, I got the day. <laughs> what happens? What happens out of town stays out of town. I don't know. Definitely. I feel like I feel like we should do that for my thirty fifth birthday in August. I, I want to plan a thirty fifth soiree, like a, a girl strip, um, for my thirty fifth. Um. So I feel like maybe we should do that for my thirty fifth because wait, no, whose birthday's coming up first? Willa's birth. Willa's birthday comes up before mine. I'm going to, um, I don't know where I'm going. I said I'm going to Miami, but I might go to Vegas. Oh, Vegas, Vegas is fun. Girl, I love Vegas. If y'all, okay, if you want to go to Vegas, Willa, hit me up, baby. You know, I, I, I'm not going to tell my business on here, I, but I got the spots. I just coming back from Jamaica, so I probably think I do want to go to Vegas. I'll come. Oh, I just went to Jamaica. I got so black, y'all. Yes, please. that would be fun, Nee. Yeah, I'll come. I like Vegas. Vegas is fun. That'll be fun. That'll Vegas be is cute. a good time, baby. They treat me real well in Vegas because I like to gamble. Seven, look, 28. Thank you. I'm going to be 35. Crazy. Period. Right. It's I just crazy. turned 40, honey. What are we talking about? Let's do it. Man. And you look 50. My baby count 57, bitch. And it's white. <laughs> <laughs> My credit is 82 and it's white, honey. I love that for me, period. <laughs> <laughs> you run that way. She tried me. See, we were, it was a good moment. Now, when I attack, when I act like these other girls and go live tomorrow and be like, I can't believe that is here. That's a me. We say that about me. Puff. <laughs> <laughs> now I didn't come up here saying nothing about your Afro puff. I don't left girl you and your the puff, puff alone. And my puff look good, girl. She I is. Left you and your puff alone, sis. <laughs> uh, but the great thing is, like, I just love how all three of us can joke with each other and know that we not serious. Oh yeah, hey, I'm not a no sensitive yeah. Sally's around here, baby. I don't, that's why, honestly, like, no, that's but- why it takes special people to like be cool with me because I don't deal with sensitive Sally's. You know what I mean, like. Because, baby, a joke is a joke. And it could be on any of us at any time. It could be on me. It could be on Willa. It could be on you. It could be on me. It could be on yeah. anybody. A joke is a joke. And, baby, if it's funny, let's laugh. Girl, that was funny to me. I laughed. I'm not offended. Neat, me. Turn into this camera real quick. You look good from the side. Who oh, no, me? Yes. Did I tell TZB what happened? What, what happened? What happened? Wait, remind me. Give me a clue. Put it yes. in that city, called somebody else besides the cops. But apparently he was bawling. I mean, oh, <laughs> just, ah! just, I like he was in tears. I don't want to talk to TTV. I have not told nobody nothing. I won't lie. Nicole asked me. Nicole. Nicole asked me. Nicole. Just Nicole. 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 Nicole.
So did you did you did you did you tell that Nicole? Um, tune in to TTV's review tomorrow to find out who told him. He said he's gonna reveal it. I don't know. All I'm, I'm saying is when you I done been in like 12 episodes in the 11 episode season. I'm just trying to understand. <laughs> and I didn't even get no cameo. I done been to Atlanta 12 times this year. Where is my cameo? Cameo girl. Cameo. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Period. Dario, it's it's some footage somewhere of me and some of these Atlanta people. Just throw that in there. I and mean, <laughs> look, throw it in and mute it. <laughs> not throw it in and mute it. Because they can't know what we was talking about. That's crazy. For, that's All later. I'm gonna say is when you trademark Nicole Ray Media, I'm I just want. I'm gonna give you. Thank I'm gonna you. give twenty percent. I got you, boom. Oh, I was gonna ask for ten, and you gonna give me twenty. I, I fucks with it. See, I fucks with it. I fucks with it the long way, the strong way. Right, TTB production with the clip. Yeah, Nicole is fake. How am I fake and messy? What I do? Okay. I, I'm I'm just here. My I'm, there's so much commentary to be had, but I'm gonna just you know. Yes, it do be. <laughs> Dominique, your head gonna be hurting, and stop complaining about it. It looks good. Yes, TTB, put on your wig right now. Let's go. Come on. Now so put on, on your, your wig, wig and come clear this live. Nicole, please uh, tell Seven who called your wigs trash while you were up here. I'm dying to see in here. Oh, oh um, no. So what the comment that I have made, someone in the comments has said, Can I help Berlin with her wigs? Um, and I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm not, I ain't got no comment. Her spokesperson has said that got back to me that my wigs are trash and they're like rat hair, something, 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 and they would never even use it to wipe up the counter. So I was like, well, unfortunately, I can't help, you know, their counterpart out because if they spokesperson thinks my wigs are trash, I can't help them out. Okay. Willa, you, um, you installed one of my wigs on Oliver and Flat and it was a trash girl? Uh-uh. Right. I'm like, it was real flowy in the video I saw. <laughs> That's what I said. Somebody said they wouldn't wipe the counter with it. Who said that? Who was cut out of the opening credits? The right. girls carrying on like that? Carrying on, honey. Nah, I said, bitch, these wigs is worldwide. I've been blocked, Joshua. Oh my gosh, I've been blocked, baby. So it's cool. <laughs> I've been blocked, honey, for like six months now. So it's cool. I be wanting to try to, you know, be empathetic and sympathetic and stay out the way. Because, you know, it do be kind of, you know, I don't be want people to feel, like what Karen say, she don't do the gang bang. I don't be want people to feel, you know. Um, gang bang. Right, but we can't just be out here in these internet streets lying now, child. Like, if you don't like me, just don't like me. But you, make my wigs is top tier, baby. If you don't like me, just don't like me. It, it, be, the, it be the, why do everybody be want to act so innocent? Not, like, no shade. Like, I know that sometimes, in the words of Candace, I know that I can be a bitch. And I know sometimes some of the things that I say come out a little fucked up. However, comma, do I be wrong? Right. It's not, it's not there, and that's never been the case. That really, to be honest with you, a lot of people are never really wrong. It's just the fact that certain people do not want anyone to say anything about them. About them. Anything, anything unless it's unless it's positive and and and, and screaming their name in in the best light. They don't want nobody saying nothing about it. So it's like with that being said. But then if you're gonna be that, why do you speak so much about like? other stuff going on and other people and stuff like that. So it's like, you can't have it both ways. It's like, baby, you can't talk. And that's the shit that they be talking about on Potomac. Like, you can't speak on everybody else live and then keep your shit hush hush. Like, right. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, it's it's a it's a two person thing. Like, if we have to take it on the chin, bitch, everybody else have to take it on the chin. And, and, and I, contrary to how it's made to be seen, Production ain't showing favorite, favoritism to no goddamn body. What you see is what you Not at all. What you see is what you presented. What you I'm see is what you presented. The way sometimes stuff be cut up, it be cut up. But this my thing. If you if that was not there, it couldn't be cut up. You get what I'm right. saying? 
that's how I then the more and more I done thought about it, I'm like, if it wasn't there, it couldn't be cut up like this. So I and every and every time I get up here, I'll be like, Diary, I'll be having the bitch looking like a motherfucking slice of cake, bitch. So I don't, I don't I don't girl, I don't have no complaints. You get what I'm saying? As it pertains to like editing and shit like that. But I did know this, I did hear that Berlin had voiced that as a concern of her. She didn't like her editing tonight. I am not going to hold you. I did kind of see like her, you know, but shit, I mean, what 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 they supposed to do? Like stop? I don't know. And she don't, was sweating. It's yeah. Girl, that's on you. What production supposed to do about that, girl? You don't feel the sweat on your forehead. I was thinking like, like I mean, you don't feel the lace lifting. Right. Let's be clear. Like, here's the thing, y'all. And, and I need people to understand, <laughs> especially <laughs> like I'm gonna keep it funky with you. In her defense with that lace, sometimes that shit pop the fuck up and you don't be new. For real, for real. Because I was at Piedmont Park one prior, bitch, and my braids were showing. Nah, and nah, 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 <laughs> sister. You talking about when we was out there for pride? Yeah. No, nah, sister, we was drunk. We was drunk. And you did say it in my drunken thoughts. I could remember you saying, bitch, I feel like my lace is lifted out here in this heat. And you said we got to we got to go. Yeah. And sister. Oh, you, I'm not talking about the year. I'm not talking about last year when me and you went. I'm talking about the year before when I went with my client. I had a pink on and it hit kind of slid way back in my brain. <laughs> She said, why your hair black in the front? <laughs> <laughs> girl, that weird, girl, I had to pull me one of them numbers where you take the swoop, girl, and tuck it behind your ear and then pull the hair. <laughs> <laughs> My God, the day. Here's yeah. what I need people to understand. Like, these shows are meant to be entertaining. Yes, it's reality. It's real life. But they chop it up and screw it to make it entertaining. And like you said, if you don't give it to them, they can't use it. And chasing is better than a lot of these platforms. Like, I don't work with a lot of people from a lot of places. Like, here's the thing. Housewives just film for six months. That shit don't edit in order. They don't edit it in order. They chop it and screw it. They might take something from six months down the line. Y'all might have been cool as shit. Day one, beeping day 27. And they gonna edit it up to make it seem like it went from zero to one million. Like, you have no control over that. Like, so the sooner you realize, baby, all you can do is show up and do what you do. And if you don't want certain things to be seen, don't do them. Yeah. Because they don't edit it however. Like, you know what I mean? If Willa said one thing on episode one, but they put it in episode five because it made more sense or it made it more entertaining there, that's just what it's going to give. You still said it. And you signed a, you signed the contract saying that you, yeah, they like, can so use, that, they can use it how they see fit. Baby. And right. That's, that's the prime example was the um, horseback riding thing. I wasn't at the horseback riding thing, but there was a confessional of mine placed in about me saying the shit about the principal. I definitely said this. I definitely said it. And I said it to him. That's why I was so confused, like, that, it, you know, that he had got upset about it or whatever, I told them that he was upset about it. But I was like, child, listen, I, I said it to you. We laughed about it. It was a key. Um, like, even to this day, like, it, it's, it's a key or whatever. So I don't know. I just hate this shit that went like it and went. Right. Um, that's off to end, Dario, honey, baby. I could barely edit an Instagram video. So, baby, editing all this up and making it look tea and making girls look more fab than they actually are, like, and things of that nature. And he like, is doing his big one. He is yeah, doing like, his big one. Pops here, baby. Look at here, baby. And then, then the, the leaking, leaking stuff. It's just like we sign contracts. Like we know what we can't, what we're supposed to do. And we know, we know what we're not supposed to do as adults. And to then blame it on production, it's like. Well, the thing is, that girl been leaking stuff since in the mix with Twix, honey. Like. Girl, like she been leaking information to outside sources since the beginning. So, you know, I don't know why y'all expecting nothing different out of her. It just sucks because, and I, I, I now Miss Mama's. I, I know she gonna watch this, and I know she gonna go live later. I don't want you to think that I'm against you. However, comma, it just sucks when one apple spoils the bunch. It was probably like two apples this season, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I one apple right. more than the other. <laughs> one touched the other one just a little bit and they rub together and then <laughs> We can't hear you, sister. You you muted, sister. Did you mute? Did you mute? Hello? Mm-hmm. I'm... No. We can't hear you. Oh, we lost her. 
We can't hear you. My God today. Okay. <laughs> She's going to drop out and probably drop back in. She'll probably drop back in. It just, because I really, I do wish that we could have gotten together in one room and just completed it, you know? However, I understand Dario's feelings and I understand his emotions because ultimately, just like we're not getting paid and we're doing this, we're doing this for the, for, for, we're doing this for free. Ultimately, Dario ain't getting no big ass check from this either. This is a love project, just like it's a love project for us. And he's giving us a platform with thousands of subscribers and putting us in front of thousands of people. Bro, drag people at drag race girls know me because of this platform. I mean, bitch, the way you be flipping and looping and duping, honey, and splitting and all that thing, they better know who you is, honey, okay? And it's like, I feel we like gotta, so. hey, delightful, how delightful is on? Hi. Y'all hear me? Yes. Hey, you, girl. What's up? Y'all are my favorite. Okay. I really wanted Willa to be up here. My co- oh, she coming back. She said she needs the link. She in the comments. She coming right oh, back. It's a question for all three, I guess for y'all too. Would y'all ever do something in collaboration together? Give us like a girl's trip of you, like the ladies of Chase. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And you know, I get the call. Yeah, I'm going. Yeah, absolutely. I think y'all would be. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm down to get drunk with my sisters and kiss on I, each other. Thing, people don't understand. It's fun. It's fun drama when people are actually cool with each other. When we not, you know what I mean? Because when you have people who aren't really friends and they're trying to form friendships and bonds while being filmed, it's nothing for them to fall out and hate each other forever. But when people have actually spent time with each other and hang out with each other and talk to each other outside of this, even if we beef, it's still not going to go too far left. You know what I mean? Very much that. Like, okay. so that that's what would be fun about it. You know what I mean? I mean, hey, somebody might want the bigger room, honey, and we might beep about that, honey, because, you know. <laughs> but, you know, or we, you know, it's little bit. I'm, ju- I'm just married if I wanted to. <laughs> that part. I have another. That question. I'm not going to use. Oh, someone up here. Okay. Oh, oh. I, we know Hershey LaCour Jate is in the building. Very good. Hello. Hello. It's crazy how she won't um get her drunk ass in this camera though, because I know she drunk. What's I was the watching problem? the story. <laughs> what about it? <laughs> I am drunk. What about it, girl? Bitch, I saw all the cocktails. Either. Y'all was. I saw you and Mirage and um Maya just <laughs> knocking them back, <laughs> bitch. Bitch, <laughs> y'all was toasted. <laughs> I was like, look at my sisters. Look at my sisters, girl. I'm sorry, Mister uh, Mister Delightful Dawn had another question. Oh, go ahead, oh, delightful. Oh, so I'm a complete stalker, Hershey. I seen you in St. Louis. You were sitting in front of me, and I had a whole fangirl moment. My whole table was like, "Why the hell are you being dramatic?" So I took a picture. So I love you so much. I'm from St. Louis too. So when I see you in a restaurant, what I high like, school? Hey, you, what high school you go to? I'm gr- I'm old. I went to Imagine. <laughs> If you don't oh, mm, mm. I'm 32. <laughs> oh, uh, you said you're 30 what? I'm 32. Oh, girl. girl. You graduated at the 32. same time, girl. We all 32. <laughs> and this. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I was just so excited. I, took the I was like, oh, my. God. The whole restaurant, it was, just, it was just a ghetto place out in, um, what is it called? Bur- 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 and you were sitting there with your um, partner, your family. And I was like, oh, my gosh, that's her What restaurant was it? It's a restaurant in Ferguson, a small restaurant. Like, they have, like, walk-in. Oh, girl, yeah. That house <laughs> that they refurbished. It was a house. <laughs> okay, this is, this is the <laughs> question um, for all y'all. Would y'all do a trip and then allow fans or supporters to, like, go on the trip with, with y'all? Like have it like a, a I girl. I did that absolutely. I do it again. Let's go. Who oh, coming? When y'all do, let me know because I want to go. Yeah. Do it. So, do you want it to be like an all girls trip, or can we invite the boys too? I want the boys too, but I want to be the girls to be hosting. I'm tired. The of girls it. are hosting. Okay. Period. Are- okay. Period. <laughs> Who gonna be there? That's the question. Hershey, a part of the girls. Oh, okay. Absolutely. 
everyone but the ones who have been cut out of um, trailers and introductions. So thank See, you. I ain't, got nothing to, I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> thank you for allowing me to come up. I love You're all of y'all. Okay. Wow. Thank you so much, love. Love you, Siri, you so much. All right, bye. Hershey, Hershey so LaCour at home by with them children. Huh? He's at home by himself with them children. He is. Let me go help him a little bit. Let me put on my nightie and go help him out a little bit. Girl, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, Hershey, I just want you, I'm going to come across the bridge to okay. Manhattan because I'm in, I'm in Jersey. I'm going to just come across the bridge and I need that outfit that you wore today. Thank you. Girl, you might be able to have it, to be completely frank with you. I can't see nowhere else I'm going to wear it. Now, I don't see nowhere else you're going to wear it either. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm going to just come, and I'm going to just come, and I'm going to take good care of it, okay? Okay, work. But you look taller than me. It might, uh, it might look. No, I'm not. I'm, 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 I'm don't, don't try to say that. I just got long legs. I am a dainty 5'7". Okay. See, okay. Come on, That's dainty. crazy. I mean, I'm, I'm five, a dainty 5'7". If, I might have to take it in a little bit because you're a little Ooh, thicker. I just said Hershey is thick. Don't do Hershey. Not I, am, look, I gained all my daddy weight. Hello. <laughs> I know my sister. I gained all my parent weight, girl, and I'm enjoying it. Hello. <laughs> Why you didn't take me to New York with you as your glam team, Hershey? What's going on? You should have took me. I, I, I just got here. I ain't got your budget yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, ju I just got here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I respect it. I she respect has just arrived. <laughs> Give me a couple of checks and then we can talk. Okay. Then we all, okay, guys. How does it I feel drive? How did it feel riding on that big red bus through Times Square and seeing that motherfucker that was cold? It was cold as a bitch. I did not enjoy that shit. <laughs> I, don't, I did not enjoy it. I ain't even gonna hold you. But I forgot when I saw my face in the middle of Times Square. Like that, like sent me how like I forgot we was on the damn bus. I was yelling at the top of my damn lungs. That's why my voice is out now because I've been screaming all fucking day. <laughs> These people think something wrong with me. Every time I see myself on the fly, I go, ah, ah, ah. as you should, as you fucking should, bitch. Like all your hard work, like. Like, yeah, like I don't want people to think that you're not still working hard because you very well are. However, just right. to like see yourself like bitch i screamed when i saw it it feels unreal we'll say that it doesn't like it feels very surreal like it's not it feels like it's not happening like i, I sat here at the hotel like sat on the floor and just looked outside for like literally an hour straight just like trying to like whew, like this shit is really happening right now right but I'll tell you this, they brought us up here. They said, this is not a vacation. They had, a, they put our ass to work. My ankles are on fucking fire. Like they said, y'all, uh, we working all day. <laughs> Bitch, what's no baby, Let me tell you her, she press tours ain't no joke, baby. They, I'm like, learning. Sun up to sun down. They be like, hello, like, you know what I mean? Like people see you and they be like, oh, well, you're just here waving at people, doing this, doing that. No, bitch, it's go, 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 go. It was no less than 15 interviews just today. <laughs> just today and then they said it's gonna be longer tomorrow because we gotta wake up we gotta do four or five at the empire state building then we gotta go to some other office and do another four or five there and then we gotta do we gotta come back here get redressed and then do a pre do the whole premiere party and then do another interview while we have this uh, girl like i'm not complaining but like yeah they said this ain't no vacation bitch uh <laughs> you're working y'all working <laughs> One of my friends was trying to, one of my friends that's a manager um, was like, just stay till Friday and come to the, um, come to the party on Thursday. I'm like, I got to go home mm -mm. and I ain't got nothing to wear. You can go regular, regular. No, I am not going regular, regular. Mm -hmm. Gotta put that shit on. You got to put that shit on. And I was like, and then I'm yeah. also going to, I'm like, I know several of the bitches that's on, that's on, like, I'm going to want to put that shit on. For my sisters. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. I'm, 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 proud not, of I'm them. reading all the comments. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all. Right. Like, like, I can't wait to see the picture. Gotta, yeah. I can't wait to do my premiere party in Atlanta and be screaming when you come on that motherfucking screen, bitch. Just everybody. Before the show even. 
before the show even starts, I'll be like, okay, now her, she is my sister. If y'all say anything wrong about my sister, you're getting right. exploited out let me explain. So let me explain something to you. When it comes to these outfits, when it comes to my... We- Listen, the only if you're not in the profession, if you ain't stitched the outfit, if you ain't pressed no hair, um, and if you ain't slack no makeup across your face, your opinion about it is irrelevant to me. It very much is because half these girls be trying to put on, be putting on concealer the wrong places. Hello, the only people that can talk about my makeup as a matter and my hair, as a matter of fact, is on this live right now. (laughs) (laughs) Y'all, I listen to. I'm not like everybody else. They probably. I mean, make sure sure you thank me in your speech for telling you your wig was dry. Episode Ah! two, and now look where we at. <laughs> it's crazy because the same bitches that sat here and said that our hair was sh- fucked up are the same bitches that give us that 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 got our hair together. Hello. They just didn't. They didn't just only talk about it. They made sure that they got us to win together. I mean, I mean, you can't just you can't just criticize. You have to you have to uplift, honey. At the same time, baby. Hello. Oh, the people said I'm taking up too much time. Can y'all finish the episode? So you I said it was over. I thought it was over because I definitely didn't want to talk about that last. The last scene was Wayne. But if y'all got some Kendra questions, you're asking, baybe, we need But that's we part of the episode. Tweet, that's part of the episode, seven. girl. Y'all live and y'all so <laughs> like, I'm... That's I'm part of the episode. Hey, run it back. Run it back. No, okay, so okay, yo, let's run it so we can talk about it. I to guess. the story, play it back. Like, damn, how could I do some shit like that? But I mean, but you had to work and you have a life, and I don't pay your bills and I don't do none of that. So I understand. At the end of the day, you grown, but at the same time, it's just I wouldn't have done that to you. Well, I mean, today the sun is shining, everything is good, you know, I'm feeling good, I'm looking good, the girls are up, honey, and ready. J. Twine, I thought we were supposed to have, you know, brunch, and we were supposed to get out of the swimming pool and discuss my music and stuff like that, and I get here, Wayne is here. So I guess we finna either, A, go at it again, two, make it work, or it's a big ass swimming pool over there, I can just throw his ass in there and be good with it. Oh hell! Yeah. Why is everybody hot but me? This has been going on far too long. It's getting out of hand. It is. And I'm and I'm and I'm 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 being affected by this. What is why, why is it getting? Out of hand? You know, a lot of people don't realize that. Not Willa lost it. Willa lost it. I'm hollering. I just want to say to the people that said that production could have shown them better. The fact that these girls are fanning themselves with plates, they knew they was hot. Let me say exhibit A, B, C, D, and E. They knew they was hot. Kendra do not understand how that they clear them girls like they did. I heard say that on the episode. I asked everybody. Because <laughs> Kendra probably just got there. They've been sitting out there probably for some hours, honey, just baking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But that took me out. Let this be a lesson to you girls, honey. Stop scheduling outside scenes in the damn summertime. What's in the it? middle of Georgia heat. That was, was sister. That was that was that that that, that had to happen in July. I to think about it. That had to happen like in middle end of July, beginning of August. I don't remember summer being there hot though. It was hot as a. Bitch. I mean, apparently, was girl, hot. it was girl. <laughs> next time, I get see the, the sweat. Room. I see the sweat dripping down um Berlin chest. I just want to say to uh, my sister Kendra. Now, Kendra, you are not part of the itty bitty titty community no more, baby. You are well endowed, baby. Do you hear me? We gotta. Oh, we gotta. God, you said it. I was gonna. We say gotta. It. Uh, I gonna say it. Baby, we gotta them, learn how to control them, them pit bulls. <laughs> them baby said. <laughs> them girls are saying, "Let me out. Let <laughs> me out. Y'all are going a, to do a full grown not pit bulls. Those are go. not. Those are not chihuahuas. That's a full let full grown dog. Google. Y'all are going to let Kendra's sweater cows 
<laughs> Honey, please give Hershey back her dress, okay? Like, please, like, girl. Yeah, I'm let sure. my people go. Oh my gosh, here yeah, TTD go. <laughs> Them things were sitting there talking about give us free, give us free. You got some big titties now, Kendra. We gotta, we gotta size it up, baby. Them titties said, "Girl, let me breathe." Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Back up off of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, I am weak. So Hi, listen, Chad. can I can I ask a question? Uh huh. Okay. Berlin, if you're listening to this, I love you. But I need to know what happened at this damn airport. Now, wait, hear me out. I hear what you are saying, sister, <coughs> Buddy about pass. being left Buddy at pass. the airport. I hear you. But, girl, I'm not sitting no longer than a day in the airport. I myself probably would have been on the plane. Too. I'm not sitting in the airport for yeah, one day. But I need to understand what exactly <laughs> happened. So let me okay, so what happened? Can I say, because I had did a confessional on it, but they didn't play it. And okay, you, I, on, you tell your side, and I'll tell my side, because I, I know it. again. And then Judge Nicole is going to weigh in. Let's go. Please. So basically, so basically they, were, they went to Houston for a performance that Kendra was booked for, if I'm not mistaken. Uh-huh. So, but Wayne had went in the place. If it was that, the, was that that performance? Anyway, they it was went, that performance. Yeah, they went or whatever. And Berlin had on a, like a black tank top, like scattered straps, and then she had on some. Um, and it was it was tight, just like Kendra's was. Blue jeans, not really. Her scattered straps was a red, a regular black strap shirt, and some black shorts, jean shorts, and she had some little boots or something on. And they escorted her off the plane, saying that she was dressed inappropriately. And she felt like, well, pretty much one, if I was a little white girl, y'all you know, wouldn't have gave a damn about me having this shit on. Ooh. I was discriminating because she felt like it was some foul play going on because she was trans. And she felt like Wayne should have got off the plane and saw about her. But instead, he came back. But shit, Wayne got kids and shit. He got to do, he got, you know. So well, respectfully to my sister, did she not have like sweatpants? Like it, when they put you off, is it too late at that point? Like she didn't have no sweatpants or anything that could have been right. put on to look more, I guess, respectful. According or to what? Wayne, they started cutting up when they put them I, off the plane. And knowing knowing the oh. rant that that the spokesperson goes on, I can believe that 1,000% that they got off that plane and started going off and cutting up. Here's the thing, baby. If, if us three girls up here, no Sade, baby, go on some buddy passes, um, them tickets ain't guaranteed. So if they still letting me on the plane, baby, I gotta go. Cause who knows when we might get back on the plane again. Exactly. And to be and fair, if I'm... you have money to book the motel six down the street, you could have took that forty nine ninety nine and booked the spirit flight. It was Texas to Atlanta. You can't tell me that ticket cost more than thirty nine dollars. And I'm just, I personally, now this is me, Berlin. I don't want y'all to be mad at me. This is just, I don't know what happened. I'm outside looking in. But I'm an advocate for just getting in the airport, shedding your ass up, sitting your ass down, and getting your ass out. So I'm not arguing with, if the gate attendant cuts me out, I'm not <laughs> arguing with it because the last place I want to be is on the no-fly list. Um, so I just, I, I genuinely wanted an understanding as to what happened because I, I, I personally don't fault Wayne for getting on the plane and, and leaving. Girl, I'm not sitting in the airport, especially when you got you and he got you. Girl, mm -hmm. and you got a job. What? Like these girls got to get to work. Like we, I definitely, I leave the club early for my damn kids. So I yeah. definitely am getting on the flight. Baby, Hershey ran up out that reunion, honey, for them kids. Honey, baby, Good night. Take no pictures, baby. We got to go. Good night. When Berlin and when Berlin said this to us in that same scene where she told us about her sugar daddy, um, she told us about this and was telling us how she wasn't talking to Wayne. Do y'all see how many months apart this is? Right. But girl, girl she said this, she to said this to us. And I said it to them. I was like, oh, I would have got on that flight too. No see no shade. I would have got on that flight too. But to be honest, but wait, but that's why Tonka, but that's why Tonka asked about the shit then because he was like, y'all just said y'all wasn't fucking with him, but now y'all been cool with him. And that's when Jason was like, oh, well, you know, he's like family or this how family do. Like they get in, but they end up getting back cool or something like that, he said. So I don't know if it was that big of a deal because, I mean, they was right back cool with him. But, I, you know, I don't, I don't know. That ain't I got cool. one more question. Now, the girl said in the episode, 
episode that she somebody said we all come together, we all leave together. They didn't come together. They um, flew separately. I, I mean, I hear that. I hear that in one breath. But here's the thing: if we have to be solution oriented, so for me, if it would have been us three, and they would have been like one of us can't get on. If I was going to use money to get a hotel room, I would have used my money and booked the car. It's Houston to Atlanta. It's not even a. It's a couple hours of a drive. Like, baby, we could have got in a car and got home at that point. Like, it was many solutions. We're not just going to keep sitting and waiting to get on a flight on some free shit on a buddy pass. I'm sorry, I'm not doing it. The people in the comments have said I made it to the block list. So I hope the people, I hope uh, I hope uh, we were born are not mad at me. I'm genuinely trying to grasp and understand it, but I can, I can earnestly say, yeah, yeah, we came together, but my kids are also back at home. So if we got to leave separate girl, like I'm not about to, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to argue with the flight attendant. I'm getting on the plane. Getting on the plane, baby. Yeah. Girl, and who, in the comments, Berlin didn't help him with a room. Berlin got a room that happened to have two beds in it, baby. But if you were smart enough to book a room to lay down, I would have used that money to get home. I'm not going to stay somewhere for extra days to get on the free flight. I'm going to take my same debit card, credit card I used to book a room and get my ass home. What's up, her sugar daddy still good then? How much is how much is a one way rent a car at Enterprise, baby? Sixty nine ninety nine a day or something like, girl? What are we talking about? Well, they do got to hold the three hundred. Somebody in the <laughs> somebody in the comments said that, that Wayne, was somebody in the comments said that Wayne could have checked on them, but from what Wayne said on the show, he said when he tried to get up, the flight attendant told him you to can't his, get off the plane. Have y'all ever flew a flight once before? You once you get on the flight, unless they put you off, you're not leaving. The you're flight. not getting off the flight yeah you can't get, if you get on the plane and sit down in your seat there's no oh i need to get off the plane and see what's going on that's not how it works if you get off the plane baby you have gotten off and now you're gonna wait and i think y'all are trying to apply like going out in club rules to like taking a flight to different destinations like if we were going to a club how long is this if time? we're going like out somewhere yes we came together we leave together that i understand Having yeah. a flight, especially if uh, cause mind you, I don't know what I'm talking about, so I'm saying uh, buddy passes were mentioned. So having a flight, especially if a buddy pass is involved, if I have to get home again, I sympathize more with Wayne because he has <laughs> children. So if I got to get my ass home, I'm going home, and I'm definitely not arguing with the feds. Those Hello? people are federal workers. Baby, I'm not arguing. I'm not gonna understand why I couldn't be here because I stayed because you couldn't get on a flight, baby. I'm so sorry. Like hair and makeup needs to be done. We got press. We got red carpets. We have things to do, baby. Like, I don't and then play if around. this is in fact the buddy pass, you're now screwing up the person who works there. These definitely are unpopular opinions, but these are also facts. Right. <laughs> like, I got heck of friends that work at the airport, baby, and the rule of thumb is, honey, please be nice to the person that's putting you on the plane, because it goes by seniority. Like, if the person who got you the buddy pass has been working there a long time, you probably get on the plane faster than somebody whose friend just started. You know what I mean? Like, and you still represent them. Very much so. It's like, like, no see, no shade. My flight from here to Jer from from Atlanta to um, Jersey, I'm still using my dead name because my birth certificate and stuff for my legal change has not come yet. And I'm not I, I'm not trying to fuck with I, no mm -mm, no ma'am. Baby, like, in eleven it, hours. Somebody said the drive from Houston to Atlanta is eleven hours. Baby, they stayed in Houston for three days. That is more than eleven hours, baby. I would have drove eleven hours. And three of y'all take turns. Take they, turns. They like, do the math. You know how much money I can make in on. three days? No, no, wait. They were stranded. They were stranded for three days. Yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly, I would, they I would, were there for multiple days. Uh, I I would have mm. been telling this. It's so goddamn bad. I'm talking about from here. <laughs> <wait a minute>. <laughs> <laughs> from Willis says she would have took one for the team and got her home, baby. Got home, dead. Night, do you hear me? With the money in my pocket, bitch. What you mean? I would have went home <laughs> with more than I came down there with. But that's the hoe in me. I mean, that's the hustle in me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because, baby, I'm not staying there for three days, not working, three, not doing nothing. Baby, I cannot miss work for three days. Like, 
and no shade. I'm not going anywhere I can't get back from. So like I'm I'm, they might they might have been working on beats. It's like going. Here's the thing. It's like going on a date. You never go on a date without having with some no money, money in your pocket in case something go wrong. If something go wrong and this nigga flip out, baby, I'm getting home and I'm gonna be able to pay for my own steak and lobster if you act up. If you act up. Because what's not gonna happen is me just sitting there strings it. Not, I'm not washing no dishes. I'm not washing the dishes. <laughs> like, yeah. Wait, Nicole, you said three days. So now I'm confused. So they were stranded for three days because she had on booty shorts. Like I'm lost. Like, well, no, understand. because when you deal with a buddy pass, you have to deal with the unsold tickets. That's how it works. Yeah. Like it's a standby ticket. So if there's seats available on the plane, you can get on. But if there's no seats available, you could be stuck at the airport for a long ass time. Because if they're if the flights are sold out, you can't get on. A buddy pass is an extra seat on the plane. Oh, no. So let's say if there's a hundred seats on a plane and they only sold 98, then there's two seats available. But if me and Willa are coming and the person who gave us the buddy pass been there 20 years, and the person who gave you and Hershey one only been there two years, we're gonna get on the plane because our people's seniority is higher than your person's seniority, and it's only two seats available. Got Ooh, you, baby. Don't and baby, don't let a pilot be trying to commute back home because you really done. Oh, got you. So, on first. so then yeah. when you went, so then when you and Willa get on the plane, you can't get on because you got booty shorts. And then Hershey's like, Well, I'll take you know Nicole's spot. And then okay, okay, boom. I so mean, and just to be frank, if even with all of that erased, even with all of that, like if if you took all the all of that away, at the end of the day, Wayne has children at home. I'm not sacrificing any of my extra time for uh, other adults. I'm going home to my children. Yeah. That's not shade. That's not me, like, not looking out for girl, you. Girl, whoever this girl is in the comments, girl, what am I lying about? Please tell me. Please click the link and tell me what I'm lying about, girl. Ash, Lee, C, so whatever your name is, girl. What am I lying? Girl, this is how buddy passes work. The fuck you talking about, girl? It's a free ticket from someone who works there. She you know how many niggas I got there the for? You know how many niggas I got that work for the airport? I'm screaming. That's <laughs> wild. Oh, right, right. Somebody just said Nicole is telling the truth. My my somebody works at the airport. Like that is how buddy passes work. Maybe it's different with like different airlines. I don't know, Joe. I, I never had a buddy pass. I just found out about it this year. So I, I mean, know. even if any of that that Nicole is saying is not true, the man got children at home, and <laughs> I'm not arguing <laughs> with you about my kids. <laughs> how is she? How is she stuck on? I got kids. I'm at going home. home. Well, I'm, I'm going, going home, home to my kids. I'm going home. I'm going. Home. The point right. the matter is, I know what I'm talking about. Bottom line is, baby, if there's a seat available, I'm getting on the plane. The point of the matter is, Hershey is going home to her kids. Period. If and I'm was, not mad at Hershey for it, baby. At baby all. Either. If she was, if she was, came, now, they've been in, if they, that's, that's what I'm trying to make sense of the story, because if they were there for three days, she and she had those, those, the same outfit on, somebody should have been and said something. So, if they argue, ar, be that as it may, let them argue, you argue, whatever, I'm not about to make a ruckus with the people on the flight. I'm going home. Right, girl, my girl said, I'm confused and buddy passed to a standby pass. First of all, a standby pass is for a person that actually bought a ticket and they're trying to fly standby if one comes available earlier. A standby pass is not a buddy pass. A buddy pass is a free ticket. And either pass, he got children at home. <laughs> <laughs> right. Maybe his children is at home. <laughs> the children at the, at the house. And they need some SpaghettiOs when they get home. When he Can get you home. Let me get my glass. No, and go Ashley. Can you hear me? Yes, we, yes, we can hear you, baby. Hello. Hello. Uh, we can hear uh, you. So what I was saying in the comments um, to Nicole was when she was talking, she is con con um, conflict, I mean, confusing standby passes and buddy passes. There are totally different things. How it works in the airport is people with tickets get on first and then standby. And if there's tickets left over, then it's the buddy pass. You can not book a buddy pass ticket, but you can have the information on when you want to fly back. You don't have to wait there for three days in a hotel to get your get on a flight for a buddy pass. For example, if you go somewhere on a buddy pass and you know that four or five days later you want to get back on, you tell your friend, they'll give you the airline and the information of what um what airline company you can take within that day. And then you can choose what day to be at the airport to then wait for a flight. 
So to say that they were stranded for three days and they could have got um, paid a $40 spirit ticket to get um, home within that three days, if they didn't plan on going home in the three within that three days, they had other things to do. A buddy pass is mute. Like that that makes no difference whether they had a buddy girl, pass or not. Said, girl? I'm girl, it makes said. no difference if they had a buddy pass or but not what, if they girl. chose to have been out there for okay. the time frame. Let me let me let me say it then. Okay, so I think that the only I think that what it was was they got put off the plane because of what she had on. Right. And they were and going home. So oh, why am I staying in Houston for girl. three more days when I was going home right then? If I was so, going home did, right so then, they, did they stay three more days after she got kicked off? Yes, or before girl, she got kicked off? Because at first you said no. At first you said you didn't know, and then you said that oh, did they stay three days before or they, three days prior? Did they have girl, you their? Didn't hear her. Girl, you didn't did hear her. They in the have episode their say, I booked a room because we got they kicked have off to the do flight. And then stay three days and then got on the flight, got kicked yes, off, and girl. then go back. Yes, no, they, girl, they got kicked off on the way home. Yeah, they. Went I I know. I heard what you said, but I don't think you're hearing what I'm saying. No, they went to Houston. They came <laughs> on the way back. She got put out the plane on the way back. And I guess either she was waiting on, I don't know where to, I, I didn't listen to the part about the buddy pass thing, but I was, I guess that if she was on the buddy pass, she couldn't get on the flight for them three days because they said that they had to get a hotel and stay in Houston for three days after when they were supposed to came back that day. So that's why I was, that's what we were saying. Like, that's why it, I guess it took her so long to get back. Because she had a buddy pass and she couldn't find a flight that actually had something for her to get back on. And they were stranded for three days or whatever after she got put off the plane. Okay, I understand what you're saying, Willis. From what I heard on when I was watching the show and her, you know, with all the other lives and everything else, she made it seem or she said that before that she had accommodated Wayne. He didn't have no place to stay. They got a room with two, um, two beds and he was able to stay there. If he got on the flight... Why would there be a reason for her to have a room for him to stay on? Because it so, was like so the when next you explain day, it, it's sounding conference. like so. How many fights did they miss? Now Girl, I'm go confused. back and watch the episode. They so missed it a lot like from what from from what it sounds like from what the information that we're getting, they missed one flight. She got kicked off the flight. She wanted she expected him to no, be there you know, when she got it. kicked off. Wayne, Wayne said that they were in the air they were in the airport in the room for not more than one day. Like they were there for three days. So clearly it means you went back to the airport each day trying to get on a flight. I'm guessing I don't know child. I'm saying what the people said. But they she didn't accommodate them when they went down there to perform. They were on their I, way home. I have I heard she I said can, Wayne got kids at home I, and Wayne I I had to get understand. back to his kids. Don't, I didn't Wayne also say you don't um, need to Berlin. See kids? Uh, I have a question for Ashley. Does does buddy passes work differently on depending on what uh I guess airline you use? I don't know. No. Okay. Thank it's all the I same. First is tickets, then stand by, then buddy. Sorry, Hershey. Go ahead. No, 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 no. no go ahead. I can understand Berlin um wanting support from Wayne, but at the same time, like to me, I don't know. I'm always gonna go back to the kids. There has to be some type of grace, like. How long? So he was just supposed to get kicked off the flight too because y'all were having a scuffle because the scuffle didn't just happen out of nowhere. That's what that's what I'm struggling in this story to like. Let me say no, that. I can see to that. be sympathetic with. I, I think can see that. that. Oh, I ahead, think that, I'm sorry. I, I think that I'm gonna say even for me, like I'm gonna try. I'm trying to put myself in their predicament because I am a trans woman and I do dress provocatively sometimes or whatever the case. So I'm like trying to put myself in their position. If I did not have J. Twan or at least somebody, somebody. There, I would have definitely made a fuss about Wayne as not being there because I would have felt alone. You get what I'm saying? Like I wouldn't have had mm -hmm. no the fact that she did have her best friend Jay Twan, slash roommate. I feel like she should have she should have been just okay. Like with the fact of like yeah, Wayne does have other stuff going on. I per she just and to be honest with you, when she made a point of we're in Texas. That hit me a little bit different too because I know that I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna say that the laws are different in Texas. I don't know what the laws are in Texas, but I do know how people are treated in certain stories that I have heard about how people treat certain people in Texas. And so that would be even more the reason why I'm with Nicole. On, I'm not gonna act no goddamn fool up in these people airport. And I'm not I, gonna wear certain things. And I'm not gonna wear certain things like to bring extra attention to myself. It was, and honest, I wasn't even so much. I, I wasn't even so much thinking about what the hell she had on. I just wouldn't be acting no damn fool. And I would just would have been like, well, I got a jacket or something, but I think it right. was 
Well, why would you say something to me anyway? Because if I was anybody else, you wouldn't say nothing. I think it went there before it went to, well, I got some sweatpants or something, or I could put, you know, a jacket on or something like that. Because that's some shit I probably would have did been like, oh, well, no, nah, baby, because I got to get my ass yeah, Let me go in my carry-on and get my little... They don't even give time you time that time. option. They don't give you that option. Once they have chosen for you, to, they, they feel like you're going to get kicked off the plane, they don't give you another option. Let me just give you a quick example. This is a minor. I traveled, I, sometimes I travel with minors, um, you know, picking them up out of a certain situation. I had a client of mine, I picked her up from jail because of the way she was transported to the, um, to the uh, airport yeah. and because she was kind of like, you know, the police was being assholes. They had her in uh, the handcuffs and everything because she was a little loud on the way from the entry to the terminal. They allowed us to get through the whole terminal, TSA, all that. They walked up to me and they were like, oh, are you with her? Y'all can't get on this plane. There was no option. There was no conversation. I'm a worker traveling with a minor who's in a cer certain situation. They didn't give me an option. So it was, oh, you can't get on this plane. Not a, oh, can I? We have, no. It's just what it is. Y'all can't get on this plane. And she's also going to be on a no-fly list. What? Oh, my mama. Yes. Oh, no, I believe you. I'm just saying, care. together. Oh, yeah, I'm just saying. I'm sorry, that's just how I talk. I'm just saying. <laughs> so I get everything, everybody, but I don't want to negate Berlin's feelings. Like, if she felt like, I'm, I'm, I've come from the, the, you know, the church that we roll together, we, we leave together, it doesn't matter. If it's, a, if it's a, if it's a situation and I feel like my friend, or my friends feel like she's being singled out or whatever the case may be, I'm going to step off, like, like Nicole said, it's a $40 ticket. I'm going to step off the plane, I'm make hollering. sure that my friend is okay. And then I'm going to buy the $40 ticket and get my ass home the, the sooner I can. Here's what makes that a little bit. Kids and here's all. what he, makes he that take care of his kids. He's not the primary caretaker, oh. so he don't have to run to. Oh. Let's just say it. He well, well, now wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, not, wait a minute, man. Wasn't. Now wait a minute, man. Let me put my wig on. Wait, well, here's the thing. No, I totally, wait a minute. I totally, wait. Let me say. I totally understand. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hershey got hold kids, on. though. Let Hershey talk with the no, kids. No, no, no. I, I totally understand what she's saying. Like, you know, no I would have just booked everybody a ticket. But obviously, the fact that these girls was there on a buddy pass, somebody didn't have money to get the tickets. That's but first and foremost. It's, that's and not, second that's of all, but here's the oh, thing. Well, snail. Regardless of children matter. or not, baby, I have real life responsibilities back at home. I cannot. I cannot dilly dally. For days at a time in an airport or back and forth to the hotel to, uh, you know what I mean? Like, I, I love you down. And if you don't understand, like, baby, I got a whole mortgage I have to support. I have people that depend on me. I have a mama. I have a salon. I have mm -hmm. clients. I have stuff going on. So, unfortunately, I can love you down. Now, if you were by yourself, I wouldn't leave you. But because you have your best friend, your roommate, your road dog... It like, doesn't negate her feelings, though. Even no, if, I even understand that, but I'm, I'm just saying that I'm not It don't matter if buddy pass if I pay for it out of my pocket. If there's a situation well, let where me we all say. as a group or, or we're moving as a unit, I'm going to step off and make sure my friend is okay, and then I'm going to buy the $40 ticket or buy the uh, whatever to make it to where I have my responsibilities. Or I'm going to have that conversation with my friend. Oh, let me quickly text her and be like, oh, girl, are you okay? Is it okay if I stay on this plane? There's ways to yeah, there was, I, no. Oh, wait, 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 girl, right wait a minute. Now, wait, 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 wait. Now, I hear exactly what you're saying, sister. But here's where, here's where everything did. Number one, the one thing I don't like about being the parasocial relationship, you don't know Wayne, you don't know his situation, you don't know he what he is. It. You don't know what he is. You don't know what he, he is like it. he's not responsible for. He so you can't. You can't he said they don't live there, but he no. said he has to get to work. Everybody right. don't you want jobs well, and what responsibilities do and don't have. He's not the primary That's number one. Kids. But if but he has to work, he has to pay so for his kids. Like he I'm still probably it. send child support. If he works the regular job, that's not your place to repeat so, that. If you miss he so many days. On camera. Right, but, but uh, okay, but just because we say certain things on camera, that's camera not your place to. Oh, to oh, uh, that's not your place. You're you're bringing it up as an argument. But wait, can we let? But can we let Hershey home? finish his point, please? Go ahead, Hershey. Please. This is not this come together, lead together thing. Just sounds real like <laughs> high school to me. We are grown. Like, we are grown. I'm not Safety negating first. Berlin's feelings. I, we're not. I'm not negating Berlin's feelings at all. How is she not but saying her that, best friend was I would have to finish talking first, babe. I'm not negating Berlin's feelings at all. But at the same time, all this understanding that you're asking for Berlin, Berlin is also not providing that same understanding for Wayne and his responsibilities and stuff he has to do when he has to go back home as well. Who said that? I am not. What I'm. I'm coming up here because. 
All I hear is, oh no, Berlin's wrong. Berlin's wrong. Nobody that, nobody said that. that way. Nobody nobody said those words. Nicole said that. She, oh, she's on a buddy path. She could have did this. Da, 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 she didn't say she was wrong. She didn't say she was wrong, though. Instead of saying, we can understand both perspectives. Yes, Berlin is right. You didn't say that. Yes, Berlin is in her feelings. But yes, we can understand that Wayne has things to do. I did say that. I said that I'm going to check on my friend. I might text him and be like, is it okay? Are you good? Or can I go? Whatever the case may be, I'm going to step off the plane. Yeah. But also, this is their first time having this conversation in months, right? Wayne said that. No, they, they had this conversation. It's just y'all's first time seeing it. No, no, it, I'm saying, it, it, no I'm saying, didn't didn't Wayne say that the lady on the plane had gave him an ultimatum when she had told him that they was out there acting a fool, and if he wants to go out there, then he will then be. You can stay with your friends in the airport. That's what the yeah. lady said. So and so she gave the lady the plane. Yeah, I mean, but here's the thing. Let's call a thing a thing, honey. I don't really know what those other girls do for work, baby, but one of them is. For a couple dollars to the sugar daddy, oh and the other God. one is doing whatever. Fuck, baby, they don't got nowhere to be. It was I'm a sorry, lovely live and review. I, I had a great is. time with Jesus. you guys. I, don't know what I hope y'all keep watching. watching this season. We got two more episodes until we are done. <laughs> I thank y'all. Please going? continue to watch. Oh, wait, Nicole, you my sister. TV. He sister. I'm done. I'm done. It I'm was good. amazing. I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all next week. Uh, episode <laughs> 12. Because <laughs> shit got spiked. Like Dominique said, it get real sticky. We'll see y'all next week. Bye, y'all. But you is the last. Did you really end the line? <laughs> I mean, we still live. We're still live. <laughs> We're still live. What y'all doing, Domi? Yeah, I mean, I mean why do y'all hate when we start telling the truth? Why we can't tell the truth? We gotta be, we gotta, we gotta, uh, what's the word? I don't know. <laughs> It's a long time. Real quick. Rico said, let him it's out. It's 833 people here, baby. If we can't it's 833 people. Seven. Y'all live. Y'all out the show lit, baby. I said, gosh, I thank y'all for watching 833 <laughs> people. I really appreciate it. Oh, my God. Dario said, drop the link. The people want the link. Drop the link. Okay, Dario, Dario, Dario. I'm sorry. Okay, let's okay. hang okay. on for another 15 more minutes. Oh yeah, my gosh, let's go. today. To to let's go. Drop the link for Darius. The link. To get to oh my gosh. Drop the motherfucking link. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to do. I'm so conflicted. <laughs> oh, Dario, stop playing the music. Okay, so we still here. That was nuts. I just want to say this. I don't think that Wayne was wrong. I don't think he was right. I don't think that Berlin's feelings are necessarily wrong. Absolutely. I... I think both of their feelings are right and both are of their valid, perspectives yeah. are valid. Yes. However, comma, if I got shit to do and you got somebody there with you and from uh, like, like, I just, I just, everybody I just, knows mm. them two is joined at the hip like this. So as long as they together, they good. I would never leave Willa or Seven by themselves. I'm not leaving Willa. No, I'm not yeah. because that's my friend. Ladies, All I'm like, saying is, is pieces missing from the store that don't make it add up. pieces missing. Yeah. yeah. No. The story, just like baby, we already hey. talked about the whole entire episode. What more you want us to talk? About? No, we didn't talk about no what part. we didn't talk about was um was we didn't finish with Wayne and Kendra, Kendra. talking about their okay, their run it stuff. Back on. Let's go, run it back. You know, I'm, your career meant more to me than anything. I want to see you soar and win and all that shit. But at the end of the day, I when I tried to, to do my stuff. shit, it was it was nothing. Well, I, I gave did every fucking thing. You. I invested. You told me I wasn't well. ready to do an album on my own. When do I get a chance to come up? Like I want you and to every understand artist, that shit. Every artist that get pushed. Damn it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All of this, you did this for me, you sacrificed this, you sacrificed that, your relationship. Not well, guess what? I sacrificed too. But you knew when you took that position to be manager, you had a job to do. It comes a point in life where, yeah, you true enough, a, a person can only get you so far. I feel like deep down in my soul, this hold is on, the story that. I got I'm something so to say. I got uh, something to say. Decisions in life and uh, Look, Kendra, I just feel like people just took from me, and I read no fucking benefit. I put every dime that I had in it.
to for us to blow and do what we did that shit took money and at that time that was my money and now i'm running around here i can't even do a music video i can't that th that's not fair to me i think what she's trying to say is that as her manager you be diddy bopping in a video Ooh. sometimes you have to invest in your artists i know you got to do your own thing it's fine you know i want us to win i want us to do all that everybody has a time now i have said this before and i got i got yelled at about it and it was because of the way i said it kendra got hit and got hit in the crossfire and i did not mean for kendra to get hit in the crossfire so i'm gonna say it again and i'm gonna artic i'm gonna try to articulate this at the best of my ability sometimes as talent in a manager you have to put your talent aside to be a manager you can't always be diddy bopping in the video and i can see where kendra's coming from she does she has given her as a artist she has given him her art to promote and get out there and work with she has gone viral several times and from an outsider looking in it does not seem like her team does what they need to do to get her talent seen and as an artist there's only so much you can do to get your stuff out there which if i'm paying a manager to do certain things and you're not managing you're so concerned about your career i.e wayne being everybody business not this been around i'm hollering except for the business that pay him so for me, it looks like outside looking in, like Wayne has blurred the lines between manager and friends because he was crying. And what I saw was he, it, 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 to me, it appeared he didn't feel supported by Kendra when it came to his career. I feel like Kendra was right. I actually feel like what you're saying is right. And Kendra was right. Like, you're supposed to be my manager. You're supposed to be investing in me. You're supposed to be helping me. I'm doing all this on my own. And I think Wayne does I think Wayne is ready to have his own career and he just needs to step down for being her manager. Manager. And focus that's on exactly, his career if that's what the key is. That's exactly. And then I feel like another thing too. I feel like Wayne understood what opportunity Chase and brought. And I feel like sometimes Kendra was now. I mean, Kendra was Kendra. You get what I'm saying? Now Kendra had to do show up because she had already really made her mark. She'd been here since. Damn, near the beginning. So it's like, boom, Kendra had already did. But I feel like Wayne wanted to take the opportunity to use this platform, his damn self, and try to be like, let me see where I can go. You know, hence the fact that he's been trying to do this shit without Kendra since she's been gone. So it's like, it's been a lot of that going on. So it's like, I see where both of them coming from or whatever. Like she, she, and I, and I fuck with her because even after she said what she said, she still thanked him for what he had done for her. Very much. <laughs> Damn, sister, pass that, pass so, that, pass that, pass that. Let me get hit. Wait, but didn't um? Okay. So we're keeping it real tonight, right? Wait, wait, hold on, Nicole. Before I forget my trainer though, didn't I just want to make sure I'm clear? Didn't Wayne say that uh uh something along the line? I, I don't know if it was tonight, but like in the beginning of the season, that when um when uh Kendra would go viral and have her like viral moments online, that she wouldn't uh capitalize off those moments. Like she he wanted, did say she, that. like she wanted to go get married, or she wanted he to do did this. Say that. She, didn't he say that? He did. He did. Oh, yeah. did. So we're we're keeping it real tonight, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a classic case of we cannot just put our friends in positions because they're our friends. Period. Like, here's the thing. Love Rico down. Don't would I hire him don't. to be? No, no, no. I'm no, no, no. I'm gonna go around the room. I love Rico down. Would I hire him to be my makeup artist? No, he's my friend, but I'm not hiring him to be my makeup artist because that's not what he does. Would I hire him to write me a song? Absolutely. Would I hire him to get me a dope beat? Absolutely. Love Willa down. Would I hire her to write me a rap? No, I would not. I would hire her to do my hair and makeup. You cannot put your friends in positions just because they're your friends. That's true. And then be mad when they fail at the positions you put them in that they were not qualified to do. But can we ask the artists up here, Rico, from your, from your vantage point, you are an artist. Yeah. What do you think went wrong in their relationship? I just think they are starting to grow and they're both they're both wanting different things in life now. It's like Kendra wants her life back. 
She wants to live life. Wayne now wants to be, to step into the spotlight. Their, their objectives just grew different. They grew apart. That's basically it. They want different things in life now. And that okay. happens. <laughs> Talk from me. Baby, Wayne was not never a manager. Why are we, why are we, like, let's not be delusional up here. No, for real, no. I'm just going to call a thing a thing. That man was not, love him down. He was cool as shit when I met him. He is not a manager. Like, that's her friend. Cool. Tasha Banks is my best friend in the whole wide world. If she did not have the skills to manage my salon, she would not be managing my salon. If she did not have the skills to get done what I needed done, she would curl hair in the corner and that's it. Like, we're not going to keep going. You know what I mean? We're not going to do that to this man like that. That He was not qualified for that position ever. But he ever. got but he got it, though. He got it because that's her homeboy. And she was like, oh, let me put my homeboy on. Love that for you. But, baby, look at all the other people that have put their friends on and then they fail because their friends are not qualified to do it. What Taraji P. Henson just say? She said, after Empire ended, her team dropped the damn ball. Right. Because where was the other deals? Where was the endorsements? Where was the shows? Where was the this? Where was the that? Where was the money? So what did she do? She fired them all. If people dropped the ball, fire them. Girl, you could have fired him three seasons ago if that's really what you wanted to do. But do not complain about somebody not fulfilling a position they were not qualified to fulfill. And I think a part of that is she didn't see it until a certain a certain time too, because it's like she basically had told me like people had been saying, but she could never see it. And it's like now she see it. And I was like, Well, well, what is it that you see or whatever, which is the shit that she's saying now? And she was like, It's like now she can't even do a video or she wanna do a video or whatever the case may be. I think it's more so like I've been doing this, doing this, doing this, and now the money running low, and now I'm, I ain't gonna say I'm looking for somebody to blame. I'm not gonna say that, but I, I feel like it's like the money gone, and it's now it's like, well, hell, what was you doing this whole time, or where was you at this whole time, and what did you contribute, or what did you, you know what I'm saying? So I, I don't know. I don't, me personally, I don't care for Wayne or whatever at all, or whatever, and like I said, even when we was out of town sometimes, I used to see her paying for food and shit when we went on a damn trip for him so i'm like damn but i know if you was if you was paying for food i know damn well he was, wasn't putting no money on shit so i mean it is what it is or whatever but i girl I don't know. i'll say as an artist and having who my best friend what when y'all met my best friend willard that was my manager my yeah. best friend's no longer my manager because we had to we had to realize i'm growing as an artist and there's things that i want he wants to do that he wants different things from his artists i'm not doing that so there comes a point where you both have to have a grown-up conversation and go hey i'd rather my friendship than our working relationship hey man yeah like there's connection and that's that okay need to have. yeah like yeah management needs, smart... especially management for artists you need connections if you've never managed nobody else before if you're not willing to beat down the doors and try to talk to people find people i'm not even gonna say put in some money i mean granted it'd be great if a manager had money to put in cool but if not if you're not willing to beat down doors make phone calls get in touch with the people i need to get in touch with it's just not your lane. It's like, just not your lane because my manager was lane. my manager was paying for things. My manager, my podcast, Seven Minutes in Heaven, which is another reason why it's not outright why I took a break. My manager was paying for the streaming rights for that. Right. My manager was paying for editing. My manager was paying was paying for things. And it's like if your manager is not willing to invest in your talent, that's not a manager. Or That's if they're just not your friend. capable of investing. They're not like, capable. They're not qualified. Girls do down there to the Atlanta. I don't know what kind of money they make, but baby, if you're not, if it's not in your budget to pay for things, then it's, you know what I mean, baby. We could do some fundraisers. We can do something. You have to be able to think out of the box. That's, that's where your but, team. That's where your team come in to get the funding for you. And I think that's right about because it's like your management team and your PR team and all them people. I don't. That's how you get your money. Yeah. yeah. And find the problem is they're using the term very loosely. Well, let's make it hot. So Willa 7 Rico, last season, season five, when it was blamed on Oliver Twix that uh, Kendra couldn't, you know, make the chasing the beat, blah, blah, blah. Did you guys know the real reason behind that was because they had a fight in the studio and, like, what was revealed on tonight's episode? I, I kind of gagged. I was like, girl, I didn't what? know that. 
I never I didn't knew that. I never knew that, that 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 was the case. Now I did know that the reason I couldn't make up for it afterwards when Oliver was reaching out trying to get her to do it separately from what we had already done, she was in jail. So yeah, she was in jail. She was locked up then, so it's like that's why she couldn't do the follow up to actually get on in. But and I, nobody knew that. Nobody knew that but me. No, nobody, nobody knew that but me. Yeah, you know, nobody knew that but me, Will, and Wayne. Yeah, because yeah. she got there the day before the reunion, pretty much. Right, yeah. right. I'll call into coming to the damn reunion. But I all three of us was on. All three of us was on the phone, and me and Will talked her into coming. Yeah, we, we we made sure. Uh, we made sure she was there. Yeah, talked her ass into coming, and when she, you know, when she got the but I didn't know it was nothing to do. They had gotten through it or nothing because he was on the phone with her when she was on her way. Wayne was talking to her. On the way to chasing the beast, on him saying, "Oh snap!" But I I'll finish it for her. Wayne was on the phone with her. Now right. I will say I did feel bad when I found out that she couldn't because my scene still wasn't filmed, and yeah. we were waiting. She had to film before I filmed, and right. we were waiting for her. And we literally only—I got my scene done in one take because that's all the time we had. It yeah. just sucks that Oliver got all the blame, and then on tonight's episode, we find out it had nothing to do with Oliver. Right. Yeah, it like and Oliver. I, I will say Oliver really. Oliver took that, and he didn't it, like the Oliver. Tea. He, he didn't spill the tea. Not to he be took fair. that, and he took no, it. No, let's be honest. Now, remember that's one of the reasons why we kind of had fell out because. He felt like nobody took up for him, and he said that about me at the reunion during the whole Wayne situation. And I was like, I can't say what I know. I know what happened, but I couldn't say nothing. So it was like, you know, I know what happened, but I, I, I but we said can't. It, but we couldn't say nothing. And it'd be like people don't realize that we do be having each other back in certain, certain, certain instances, and we don't say shit. Why, why is why we is y'all are, film, are filming a show? Like if it's because at the end of the day, yes, we're filming a show. However, we have friends. It's still real life. I know, it's but it's real life. life. But then look, it still came out. So it's like we could have right. But, but, but it's I'm not better the it came, came out, out like that. It's better it came out that way. It's because it could have been a messy situation. That could have been a whole storyline. But it's better that it came out from the person that it was dealing with. Hold on, as opposed oh, to oh, us no, no, sitting no, here. No, no, I agree. No, no, I agree. No, I, I agree with that. I agree with hold that. Hold on, wait a minute. Scratch that shit. The only thing that we gave that girl hell about was saying that that girl had got there so fucking late that she couldn't, she couldn't perform. That was the lie. That was the lie. That was the lie. Kendra yeah. had got there at ten o'clock fucking clock, and she had time to eat her damn. The, uh, her, her, the person that style her ate three, four times. Cause bitch, I kept seeing him run. I said, "The damn, this boy keep running up to the bank." <laughs> he did. That's how I know for a fact they was there. She came dressed. She didn't have. She this. came dressed. She was Let's ready. Let's just go and call it. The call it what it was. The thing that made everything bad the fuck up or was late or whatever was. Oliver had a death in the family or something going on that he messaged us about right before we got there. Said something about his cousin had got killed or something had went on with his cousin that he was going to be late. Production came or whatever, probably about an hour after we had got there, whatever the case may be. But what really had got it was I didn't want to be in it. That's why I didn't come dressed for the shit. That's why I didn't yeah. do it. Oliver them brought me makeup. Seven oh, brought he me did. Makeup. We were looking for makeup for you. Everybody. Yeah. Was I me. gave her clothes. <laughs> Oliver gave her makeup. <laughs> And be a part of the damn chasing the beat, and that shit took time, or whatever. And of course, Oliver was always going last, so it's like when I finally went in and shot my scene with Aaron, and Seven did her her few takes with Aaron. It still was time for Kendra to have ran in there and did her shit real quick. They just for some reason never called her. So when she was saying that she was there and that she was pissed because she had spent two or three hundred dollars on makeup, she did. She she was pissed about that because she was there. I'm not gonna hold you. That's why I was vouching for like she was definitely there. And then the time that they put us out, she seven ass was still in there performing. It was damn midnight at that point, damn that twelve o'clock at that point. So that was the lie. We wasn't. I was, I was supposed to. Yeah, we were supposed to bend and rap. I was I was a little perturbed that I was still there because I was paying for dancers, and I was like, bitch, I was supposed to be gone by then. Yeah, well, you did amazing, and you looked good doing it. Thank you, thank you. 
Um, I do think I do hope that they can. You y'all keep watching, child. Y'all keep watching. Keep child. watching. I would speak watching. on something. I would speak on something since two of the culprits are up here. But don't I'm you do it? Say, don't you I'm do just it? Gonna say, I'm just gonna say I blame me. That's yes, all I am. I blame. Go me. ahead and be. Who is yes, yes. the culprit? I blame me. Who is the, who is the, who is the culprit? Nobody. Uh, we're gonna blame nobody. Nobody. Cause you know, a bitch, I blame me. A bitch, you know, a bitch got the post of my motherfucking feet and all sorts of shit like that. Talking about <laughs> I need to my motherfucking Wait, what? I'm laughing at some bullshit. So I'm just trying to. What, so who was the culprit? What's the culprit? Who posted your feet? Wait, what? Wayne. Wayne. Now, Wayne. Who posted your feet? Girl, he zoomed in and he had screenshotted it and had put my sister feet um, up on the Instagram. What? That's not a read to me because I, 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 I know I have a large foot, baby. I don't. I ain't tripping about it because it's something else that's large to match. So I'm not. I'm Send not, me a picture. Let me see. I send it to you. <laughs> I don't have no problem. I don't have no problem. It's the tea. I have no problem. But I've seen it. But how did he get the picture? That's my thing. That's my question. Like, wait, huh? so he screenshotted. He... Um, he screenshotted the episode. The um episode from the pool party. He screenshotted um that episode of when they show her feet um at the but pool I party. But here's the thing: is that a uh, dig though? Like less, like you know what I mean? Like people. No, because she got pretty that... feet. But that's is my... that a dig? Because you got big feet, girl. You tall. Like tall people should have big feet to support them. Thing like that's your only read. Like that's the only thing you can read me on. And I'm like, if I was to really read you, I would annihilate you. Like that's the <laughs> part about the whole situation. Yeah, like that. I, yeah, that wasn't a good one. All you she know. gotta say is you a junkie. Yeah, that's, I, I, that's yeah, that's not that's not a good read. I didn't spill no secrets. That bitch posted me, then blocked me. Like, how do you post me? Talking shit about me and <laughs> block me. Oh, that's what the girls do, honey. Like the girl who has most of us up here blocked, honey, has been talking about us for weeks, honey. And we're black girls. Here's so. my thing: if you're gonna talk about me, I'd rather you talk about. I'd rather you tag me and what you talk Add about me, me to the live. How we could talk about it together? Shit. <laughs> Rico, did he block you? Yes, I'm definitely blocked. He made myself and Rico or whatever. I, I, I'm glad Rico got blocked, honey. I'm glad Rico sees what happens when a girl takes something you say and flip it, you little whore bag, honey. So next time you want to take something I say, Rico, and <laughs> flip it, so, I'm going to run these tapes back. Roll your tapes back. Wait, okay. what? Will we see the? Will we see? Because I, I, I as of, as of right now, I have no clue why Wayne and Willa are not on the best of terms. Will Will that play out? No, it just no, literally no, happened. Man. It just literally happened. No, oh. no reunion. He's mad about the after show. He's mad about the after show. Me and Wayne never had no issue. He's mad talking about I need to humble myself because I was laughing as him and Jay was talking about whatever they were talking about. And I said, I would be lying. I said, I would be telling the truth if I said that I don't give a fuck. And I said, but if I was lying, I would say that I like this new friendship that Wayne and uh JR blossoming into it. And I said, to be honest, I really just don't, I don't damn. Or whatever. And at the time, I guess he was talking about his mom and he was talking about Jay making him some stuff, but that wasn't shade really to him. Like I don't really talk to Jay. So it was more so dead way up. I don't really give a fuck about what I was talking about. And he got offended by that or whatever. And my me laughing was that Rico coming when Rico was like, I didn't say anything. I didn't tell nobody nothing. I bust out laughing at that damn coming. So I watched that after show. Willow was high as hell. She was saying whatever, exactly. whatever. <laughs> he was looking for he a moment. He was, he was looking, looking for a, for a moment. moment. I mean, ain't he always looking for a moment? Yes. Not somebody said Rico and Nicole need to get married. That's like my little sister, honey. How are we gonna get married? We're not gonna do this lesbian thing now, honey child. You could be a lesbian, Nicole. Um, I don't really like cats. So I don't really Okay, know. so okay, so let's get into it because I get yelled at all the time when I say that I don't like girls, that I, I don't like, like bumping pocketbooks, <laughs> and that I like yeah. the schlong. And I, I like get that. called all types of transphobic because I say that I don't want to date a trans man. Like when I like the idea, but then once I realize if you don't have bottom surgery, I can't get jiggy. I don't want to kiss a girl. I don't want to kiss a trans girl. I, it, I just, I just, yeah, I, I'm gonna I be like super drunk, like kissing, like even like it sounds fun. It sounds fun if we in Vegas and I get lit, but I'm still like, hold on, Nicole. Hold on, Nicole. Hey, hey, Willa, shut up. 
Don't let Shut that up. bitch be trying to lie in your motherfucking face. That bitch love trying to kiss me, tongue kiss me. Do I that's because it? that's because yeah. I like you. Mm. Oh, it's getting good. So what's the truth, Dan Seven? Because <laughs> you can't handle the truth. <laughs> I don't know. It's just something about Willa okay. May that just make my nipples hard. Oh my! And just make me want to arch my back and I mean, point Willa my toes. Top energy is fine. She do. <laughs> she, I told you. I, I told you. It's crazy because everybody thought that I was that I had a crush on. We all know he can't fight when I really was hunching on Willa I in the cabin. We all know he can't fight. Is that what you call him? That's what she said. Yes. That's what she said. He just stayed away from the mess on that show. He he could probably fight a little bit. I don't know. Clearly he can't. He said, baby, y'all didn't pay me enough for this. I'm over here. Well. Oh, well. I, I, me, I, Willa, me. Willa licked me. me. Daddy. Call me. Willa licked on me and I liked it. Yes, honey, call me. Well, okay, yeah. I, I'm gonna just have a threesome, Willie. It gotta be a man there, though. Okay, we gotta find a man. It gotta be Darius is stupid. Jamar said Willa can get it. So Nicole is with is Jamar a man enough for us? That don't, Jamar do not count. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jamar do not <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I wanna know which Jamarshall, Facetune Jamarshall or non Facetune Jamarshall. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> and on that note, oh everybody, my God. I love you, Hershey. Good night. Oh nope. my God. Like, which Jamarshall? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my no. God. Jamar wears like chest plates and shit, baby. We can't do, I can't do nothing with it. Seven is crazy. Seven I can't do crazy. nothing with it. I, I love you, TT. Y'all, TT, no, I'm just playing over her. <laughs> Ooh. Hear me. Oh, shit. Seven, I'm gonna block your number, okay? Because Why would you block me? I have a darn, I can't say I got a key to your apartment. I I, I gotta come and get it back. Seven finna get red <laughs> Y'all, Jamar should the reason why I was sitting over here crying with a shitty dog. Why? Because that's who I got chased from. A shitty kitty. Okay, that is so much better. So, Cassandra, do you feel like you and your, uh, well, you know what, I'm not even going to bring it up. Are you feeling good about everyone and everything feeling good? Oh, wow. Hey, we got <laughs> 900 people in here, Seven. Seven, you did that. I think you won for the whole season. You got 900 people up in here. That's nuts. That's nuts because I had anxiety all day today. My anxiety was not the best. And I said it to Andara. I was like, I just, I was just very anxious about doing this and I was really nervous and because like I, I, out of all of my fellow oh. cast members, I get the most hate. Like mm. these fans really no. critique the shit out of me. I feel, no. I feel like I get the most. No. Um, they eat all, they, yeah. they eat everybody. Trust me, Nisa. That means they're invested in you, Seven. If they hate you, that means they're invested. You can't hate somebody you're not invested into. If you're not strategically paying attention to what they're doing, you can't hate them. You see what I'm saying? You have to be fully invested in someone to hate on them. Like, that's just yeah, no, like, right. so they Maybe, you. like, we love Drew. Drew can perform her ass off, but Seven, we don't like her. She a, she a terrible friend. And I'll be like, the sh if y'all only knew the half of what I do for these hoes, I'm I ain't gonna say what I do for these hoes. <laughs> However, <laughs> like if y'all don't like if only y'all knew the half of it. Like I'm the first call. Like right. everybody, everybody that's in this chat right now that is being entertained by us up here, hit the like. Hey, oh, I just got an alert y'all from a friend. Oh my I word. just I just want to say um, um I'm hit the like button, awesome. everyone. Hit the Drew like button, is please. Awesome. Hit the like button and um, you know, you're somebody said, Dario, did I not say somebody was gonna say, Oh, a white refrigerator? First of all, what yeah. y'all not gonna do is I am in the basement of my aunt and my uncle's four 
floor house. This is just the basement, and they're redoing the basement. I knew yeah, I had to cut up, so I came down. It's a refrigerator. And Will has seen the top floor of it's this house. Y'all, check the private chat. Check the private chat. Okay, I just wanted to say you guys are welcome for you know the yeah, mom some food in there, baby. The you got you guys are welcome. Guys. This is yeah. just the liquor fridge. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can y'all hear me? Because uh what was you asking me? Well, was you asking me how TTB and the call set me up? That's what you asked me. Hold on, what happened? Wait, what nothing child Rico just oh, gosh, Rico, God. Rico, look, look. Did y'all look, look at the private chat? Man? We in charge. I know. The principal is yelling at us. I just saw it. The principal is yelling at us. God well, I, didn't, I didn't say anything tonight, so ha, ha, ha it's yelling at you. <laughs> Listen, uh, Galleria Garibaldi, I like you, okay? <laughs> Galleria Garibaldi, I ain't got no problems with you, Galleria Garibaldi. Damn. You guys, today's oh, also today is Wednesday, guys. Season seven of Sisters started tonight, so if you haven't watched it, make sure you watch it. Keep my keep the ratings popping, please and thanks. <laughs> Period. Anyways. All right. Oh, um, it sounds like we got to get off of here. The, 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 um, the boss man is playing the music, and it's 12 30. We've been on here for three hours. Are we going to go to TTB? Uh, no, TTB, tomorrow, I'm... Tomorrow. TTB is tomorrow. Um, okay. I appreciate I appreciate all y'all, all 900 of y'all being in this live chat and watching this. Please like, subscribe. You're welcome. If My presence want is a more blessing. You're welcome. Seven minutes of heaven no, no, is coming back. This Calm is down. coming back. It came for um, me. I appreciate y'all. We'll see y'all next Wednesday on a new episode of Chasing Atlanta every um for the next two weeks at 8 p.m. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Good night. Bye. Good night.